Welcome, everybody, to the H3 Podcast. I'm Ethan from H3 Reproductions. Joined with us today is Markiplier, the legend. I don't know about that one. You are kind of a legend on YouTube, my friend. Eh. And uh, with us as well is Ian from Smosh, another legend. Titans Hello. of the industry. Titans, the most Whoa. important how are you people feeling, on How are you feeling about all this like praise? I don't, I, I don't know, man. I, I, it doesn't. Two I, legends doesn't came me. together yeah. oh, to, un, to discuss undies. Let me just do a brief what? mention of our, yeah, exactly. I like that transition. Brought to you by, this episode is brought to you by meundies.com forward slash h3. Great underwear, soft as heck. More about that later. Sorry, Mark, I had to do it. They make me do that. They're like, cut off, cut do off the Do you need to show the packaging? Yeah, can I no, have one? No, not yet. Oh, yet. Okay. You guys okay. want to talk about it now? It seems like. Sure, yeah, I love a good pair of underwear. Let's talk about it. In, I, let's okay. do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Go wherever. They're going to love this. Oh, that's so yeah. cool. Okay, now, I'm not even kidding. People are like, God damn. Are, are we you, wear, are you wearing shit? some right yeah. now? <laughs> I'm not wearing it now. Oh. I didn't want you guys. They Listen, they sent me one pair. I didn't want to give you one that I've worn. That's fair, right? I don't care. Uh, That'd be an honor. A privilege. So give that a squeeze and tell me that's not soft. Oh, that's nice. That is, like, impressively soft. And it's Wonder Bread patterned. Is it made out of silk? It's um, micro... Fabric. I love Modal. This is not even me <laughs> joking. Like really? I freaking love Modal. What, el what else is what Modal is used in? Modal is in my bed sheets and is wow. so comfy. So there you go. Uh, get a good wow. jersey in Modal. I, 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 oh, I, I do you have. I do have a pair of me undies. Oh. Yeah. And, and wow. they're nice. They're, they're, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. I mean, they're they're no yeah, brand they're, they're deal for you. They're soft. <laughs> They're going to be like, cut that guy out. <laughs> yeah. And we're here with Ela, of course, yes. yeah. who um, got manspreaded out of existence. Yeah, we sorry bad. about that. Um, <laughs> and we'll fix it in the future. We'll get another camera. So we currently only have a switcher with four spots, so we can't actually include Ela. We're fixing it. <laughs> but we're on it when we have two guests. Regardless, <laughs> how are you guys doing today? Thank you so much for coming out and joining us, Mark and Ian. I appreciate you guys Thank so you. much. What's no up? Problem. How you doing? Oh, well, we talked about everything before, like, like when the stream was offline, but where do we even begin? I just came off of uh, two days of <laughs> charity live streams. Yes. Uh, yeah, totaling 12 hours, about $200,000 donated to Game Changer, which was really cool. And uh, I don't know. Now I'm here. It's all been a blur. I'm like <laughs> I'm like wasted on sleep, and I have no idea where I am. But it's been really cool. Yeah, dude, I caught that live stream. So you guys are selling like pajama pants to mm -hmm. raise money for for the charity. Yeah. And how many pairs did you guys slank? Oh, I forget what the exact number was. It was last time I checked, it was eleven thousand five hundred. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's yeah. amazing. So what That's we do is like on the streams, we sell various like shirts and whatnot because I always like the idea of people. Uh, Buying something and they get, or uh, buying something, they get a cool item mm. and then the proceeds go to charity. So yeah. I, I've I've done yeah. this for like, God, I've done it for like fifty charity streams now. I don't know, maybe thirty. Uh, but I've never made a penny off of it. So that's you what do. I always reiterate. Yeah, like, you do just, so many of the mm. charity streams. It's crazy. <laughs> Try to do it once a month, whenever I can. But uh, what's the charity you guys were supporting? Game changer. What is that? It's an organization that basically provides um, better quality of life for, for people that are in the hospitals, usually younger, like kids and stuff. Mm. Like there's the various child charities like Child's Play and uh, obviously um, obviously Make-A-Wish Foundation. Uh, and, and, but this one was special because when my buddy Tyler first came to L.A., uh, he's an old friend of mine that uh, is from Cincinnati with me. He moved here, and then one of the first bonding experiences that we had while we were out here was going down to this event down in Data Point, where the founder of this organization, his son, had been battling leukemia for five years. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Five years hard-fought battle, and now he's 100% cancer-free. God he's, bless him. He's, he's out of that, and he's founded this organization that just basically helps uh, anyone who's in those situations like that. No. And anyone That's can find amazing. more information about it on the website, but it's just really cool. I've noticed that you particularly, I haven't done any charity shit. I'm just a, I'm a shit You're just bag. a piece of shit. I am a Ethan. shit bag. <laughs> yeah. God. What are you even doing with your I don't know. We've talked about it. I want to do. We were, yeah, I we were do talking about it last night because yeah. we were talking about your streams. And yeah. we said, we're, we're like, has Mega Wish ever hit you up? Like, yeah, right. No. Like some kid's <laughs> last wish is gonna be to meet my ass. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> not last, not last wish. They're not all. Oh, is that not what it is? Yeah, Make a wish. Yeah, but there's there's kids and that are wish. on the recovery. Well, there's a chance it might be their last wish, so, and that's cool. Yeah. But you don't want to yeah. right? think about right. that. Well, yeah. that's why I know that I'm not being invited. <laughs> like it all makes well, sense. It's important. To, it is important. How many? Like, 
to oh sorry like i was just trying to defend you here oh, let, good. Me, let me please, defend you for please, one second please. Please. like uh, it is important to sometimes recognize it is sometimes it is it is kids last witches Ian, sometimes it's important to recognize <laughs> it's the last no, wish right but all but you I definitely don't, don't want to mention oh is that. this your last wish yeah, yeah. yeah. when you show up so yeah. so this is it huh this is your last wish right for me yeah. 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 <laughs> no, so, no. wait how many make a wishes have you guys got how many how many dying children made their last final wish on this earth to meet you guys? Hmm. I think I think we've done <coughs> maybe five. Five. Yeah, uh, something like that. Like you've... like half Smosh and then half Smosh games. So are they ever yeah. like I just want Anthony? Yes. Yeah. Really? yeah they always <laughs> just ask for Anthony. <laughs> No, there was there was one time. No, 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 no. Oh, no, we God. did we did we did do this one thing. It, it wasn't it wasn't for Make a Wish. It was for uh, I think it was a local a local organization in Detroit um, called Rainbow Connection. Uh, There's a girl. She was battling cancer, and she we went there. We surprised her there in Detroit, and. She definitely liked Anthony a lot more. <laughs> like she was at like, like she, when when we like showed up, she like went straight for Anthony and definitely paid a lot more attention. She's to Anthony. Like, eh. I was like, I was like, all right. But it's like it's like cool. You're you do your thing. This yeah, is it, right? <laughs> I don't know why I have to emphasize the children dying part, but yeah, uh, can you it's stop? your show. You, it's you, me. I mean, do like. You want. <laughs> As long as you don't say it, like when when you know when you I'm get there. your first make a wish, oh like <laughs> I don't think it will ever happen. I just don't think I just don't think so. You've had it quite a bit. How many have you had? Uh, probably like thirty. Oh, Damn, yeah. Yeah. on Mark's yeah. level, I, you're doing charities, you're saving are they kids, just lining up, and you're just yeah. like, all right, <laughs> that could be so horrible. But you have yeah. yeah. five minutes. Go. <laughs> well, in, in a way, like that sometimes happens at conventions. Like uh, these families, they come for like like a, a group things where they come over to a convention they get a full VIP access to all of the, mm. the facilities and whatnot and I try to get them in as much as possible and we get like 30 minutes per family and I feel so bad on the rushing um, but yeah and, and then the weirdest thing happened last year uh, I I was given the Make-A-Wish Foundation's Celebrity of the Year yeah. Award wow. which was you're a competition was with like The Rock you know, yeah. which, you know, and others Dude, The that Rock clearly doesn't care compared to Mark. <laughs> yeah, no. John Cena is nowhere near on my level. John Cena currently holds like the record for the most Mega Wishes as uh, he's got like 580. Whoa. Like John himself. Cena. Oh, yeah. He's he's like incredible with that stuff. And, wow. Like I'm I'm just honored about it. Like just really I am. That is honestly a that is, that amazing. is amazing. That yeah, is seriously. genuinely like God bless you, dude. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I just I didn't like it was so weird being there just because I I I'm not trying to sound like overly humble and I'm not trying to blow my own horn here, but like it was just weird to actually have people like recognize you for something that just seemed like, like of course, like of course, if a kid wants to see me, like well, they're in still the hospital, there's, it's like, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's absolutely, still dope. it's a weird situation. Yeah, because yeah. it's like because you do get that feeling where it's like you. You realize you could have like gone to Disney World or something, <laughs> yeah. like, but you chose to come here and eat pizza with us. Yeah, it's got to be like a weird right. brain fuck. There's just so many emotions involved of like I'm going and just being confronted with a child who's like faced with death. Yeah, yeah. I almost I'm well, and it's not just it's not just an impact for the kid, but also the parents. Mm. Like we had like I'm sure you've you've had the same thing where the parents are like this is the first time like. You know, he's smiled in so long. Jesus. Yeah. And like, they're breaking like, my heart. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty, I'm going to cry. Right now. That's I'm going to cry because I remember, like, get the, those exact words are exactly what wow. the parents will say to you. And like, sounds heart wrenching. It yeah. is. Don't it's like, a cool org. It's a really it's, cool place. It's just like, it's like a day of. <laughs> emotions in that room and it's it's something that I could never like replicate just by talking to you but if you ever get the chance and I'm sure you guys will there's some kid out there waiting to die and call me up <laughs> if you want to put it that <laughs> any way any dying kids out there <laughs> give me a give me a holler boy oh man wow how about that anything else to talk about or uh, I mean that uh, was fascinating I didn't mean to bring it all heavy on here but yeah, that no, was I, I, that I was really I, fascinating this is going to be like the cry stream like what we're else? all going to be like yeah, no, no, no. I mean, is else. anything else sad to talk Someone about? Someone is suggesting, sorry again. Someone is saying maybe it's the phone interference. You want to, like, move it away or okay. something Okay, like we, so we went on airplane did. mode, didn't I, we? I straight airplane moded that shit, yeah. but it, does that help? I'll do airplane mode as well. Oh, should I airplane mode? I mean, I don't, right. yeah. Oh, okay. That was... Uh, 
Hey guys, welcome. We're in airplane mode. We're troubleshooting some <laughs> phantom noise. Um, any dying kids out there? Give me a ring. You can Stop. reach me at workwithh3 at gmail. <laughs> now I'm gonna get a ton. <laughs> no, but I mean, you know. Yeah, no, I I, I totally get it. Yeah, you don't need to. Just saying, there's no. Just saying. I don't know. So anything else sad to talk about? You guys seen Pre- Saving Private Ryan? Sad. Uh, sad. It's yeah, a pretty sad movie. Yeah, 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 sure. I mean, hopeful in a way. Yeah, right. Yeah. Actually, no. In no, it's no all hopeful. bad. Yeah, it's all bad I felt like the Yeah, I felt like the message of that movie was life is suffering. <laughs> like, <laughs> pretty, pretty much. much, yeah. How about yeah. that twist, though, at the ending? I mean, I don't want to spoil it since it's a new movie, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's quite a twist. Nobody's seen yeah. that one. Um, what else? Is go- what's going on with you lately? What are you working on? Uh, you know, just j- the huge... Too you know, much. just just uh, writing, performing sketches. I was on I was on Markiplier's. Uh, I don't want to just call you Mark. You can, yeah, I, you no, can call no, me Mark. No, no, that was weird. <laughs> I don't think you've ever actually on, called me Mark. <laughs> That's funny. I usually just talk, I, just, I usually just call you that guy. I'm yeah, like, that what guy. up? What up, guy? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I was on Mark's stream uh, yesterday, so I, I came in for a little bit mm-hmm. and uh, we just played some games, played some Worms. Oh yeah. Quality worms game. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, actually, the new one called WMD, like Worms WMD, is super cool. Is it good? I used to play Worms a lot when I was. Oh, a kid. Armageddon oh. was the shit. Yeah, oh, that was and cool. then wow. and then they like kind of went like they tried to get too creative they with tried it. Three D. Yeah, it was all the, garbage. The newest one is actually just back to two D and everything. Nice. Is just super nice. Fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's loved a lot. You guys are both gamers. Yeah. Yeah. I used to be I used to be like a pretty hardcore gamer back in the day. Yeah. I used to play EverQuest. You guys ever remember that? Mm. Oh damn. Did you grind that that shit? No, so, no. I, you heard of it? You know the game? Yeah, didn't play it. Okay. Yeah. That's like pre WoW. Yeah, that was the first MMO and that pretty much stole my entire childhood. I played that game for collectively like two thousand hours between the age of like thirteen to sixteen. Nice. It was all good. I did. Yeah. And let me tell you what, I don't regret it. Yeah, no, it's the best time of my quality, life. Quality MMO, right? But I, I feel like these days, it's harder for me to enjoy video games. Do you guys feel that? Me too, yeah. I think it's a time issue. Like, like back when you played yep. EverQuest, you had all this free time because you were a kid or whatever. So. Absolutely. But, like, then as you get older and you have actual real responsibilities, suddenly your time is precious. And yeah. you're like, you know, I, I can't play an MMO. I can't Absolutely. dedicate 60 hours a, a week to this game. I definitely feel like there's a direct correlation between free time and enjoyment of video games. But I miss that, you know? Yeah. Like that, back in the day, playing video games, you didn't have shit to do. No, Those great. were the best days, man. But you also, really you weren't accomplishing much. Yeah. That is a factor. Because I, I was the same way with are, World of Warcraft. Are you telling me I didn't accomplish anything, Doug? Yes. I had, like, straight up dragon loot. And oh, sh- I mean, <laughs> I was decked. Everyone knew me. I, I'm straight up calling <laughs> everyone you in your clan. clan everyone was like, "What up?" <laughs> As a fellow person in World of Warcraft who had all tier one through tier four like set pieces for yeah. rating, hell yeah, I put like 364 hour four days into the game. Like just my 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 time in the game was almost quantified in years of in-game time. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. It, and I'm calling you a big nerd. That <laughs> wow, that's that true. Nothing. That's true. <laughs> but that's what I love. I had no ambition. I had no desire to accomplish anything. <laughs> anything like, else. Just that game. That's like, it. That's all you can Right. Play. Like yeah. waking up in the morning, yeah. all I was like, I just want to go play this game. And just being there was like all I needed to feel satisfied. Yeah. It's almost like heroin because you hear like when people do are on heroin. Right. The only thing about the next. Exactly. Uh, or everything yeah. they do, they're like, I wish I was on heroin. This would be way more fun. Yeah. I. I I feel like I had that. Were you a witness to any of that, or was he done with it by that point? I was a witness to when he was playing Dota, right? Uh, Dota was in pretty deep on Dota. That was was pretty annoying. (laughs) (laughs) It was like, that was on like, man. Dota's like smoking weed to doing heroin (laughs) of EQ. But um, there was a plus side to it, because I ended up drawing all the time. He was like, I don't have to spend as much time with them. No, not that. No, but it made me draw more. But I was pretty mad <laughs> because it would just. I I hate these games that like you can't leave the game. It's like I want to I want to go cook something and then it's like no I I have to finish the game for the next hour. Yeah, Dota is pretty I, annoying like that. It's, is it like super long matches? I never played yeah. Dota. In terms of like mobas, if compared to like League or Heroes of Nazareth, what is is that? Heroes called? of the Storm. Ghost? His he, yeah yeah Nazareth. What does that Newer, mean? I think. It's I like oh, okay. I like the way that that's okay. called. Though. 
Um, it sounds like religious, like Jesus is going to battle like Nazareth. That's the city where Jesus yeah. is from. Yeah. I'd play that MOBA. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus yeah. and Moses decking why, up. Why don't why why is they have all these uh, games that have like Greek gods and stuff like that? Why isn't where Jesus is in Jesus? there? Where's Jesus? I guess a little. I think sensitive. people would have a little bit of an issue with that. I think, but Ooh. I also is <laughs> Jesus. Right. You're right, but also is Jesus just OP? Probably. Yeah. If you ask some people, probably. He's LP as fuck. Yeah. He's God. He's the Holy Trinity. He's got the whole shebang. He's got the he's the triple threat. He's got the song and the dance. Yeah. He's Jesus. What could you do? <laughs> what can what you could, do? What could Zeus do in the face of Jesus? I wonder what would Jesus's weapon be in that game? Because yeah. Zeus, he's got the lightning. Right. And Moses, he d- like spreads the sea or he like. Well, throws Jesus snakes. was a carpenter, right? Right. So he could like build like a really sick chair. He just sits. And then just like, maybe just like... Like a wrestling room. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Just smacks the chair over the That doesn't that. seem very powerful, but I like the image of it. Yeah. I mean, if it's Jesus throwing a chair, that could be a pretty powerful throw. You know? Wow. I don't know. Maybe. There's a developer watching you this right now. You know, it's right a great discussion. Like, oh, religion. <laughs> That's my favorite discussion <laughs> to somehow, have on a podcast. Somehow, whenever we have this podcast, it always comes back in some weird way to religion. Yeah. <laughs> but back to the topic at hand. <laughs> Um, you play video games for a living, so how do you, well, I guess it's different when you're doing it for work, right? Because it's yeah. like fulfills both of those needs. No, it doesn't. So what is it? <laughs> it, it it's, it's a tragedy. The last game that I've really had time to dedicate to was Mass Effect Andromeda, and that was such a disappointment anyway. It mm-hmm. was like I wasted my time in the first place. Um, and the last time I really played a game for fun was uh, probably like a year ago. What was it? Okay. <laughs> Overwatch? Yes. When I played Overwatch when it first came out. S- Played a lot. So when you decide on what game to play, how does how, what is that process like? And you just don't even enjoy the game? Does it just feel like work? No, I mean there's some enjoyment to it. The, the thing about doing let's plays as a living is um, it's it becomes very much a need versus want kind mm. of thing. Mm-hmm. Like I want to play games that make me like enjoy them, but there's also a need to play games that are fresh and like yeah. people mm-hmm. right. are really popular right now. Right. They may not even be good, but they're good for performance, you know. Right. And so there's a fine line to walk. I try not to make videos that I don't personally enjoy, <clears throat> and yet I and every other Let's Player in the world cannot say that they have had the best time when they've been playing games. Like that is yeah. just a flat out lie. And yeah. I would be I would be I would be the worst kind of person if I said that. But I still find joy out of it, like by branching off of games, you know, mm-hmm. doing sketches. Like, yeah, you've been branching out lately, big yeah. time. Yeah, I love it. Like I, I love it, and the people seem to love it too. I just wish it was easier to do. Like, oh you, yeah, you guys obviously know, and you obviously know, like from a lifetime of doing it. Like, yeah, you, you. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, that sketches a lot of work. Yeah, it's a, I, lot. It's a lot of work. Frankly, I'm. Env- I've always been. I think a lot of the reason why other YouTubers hate Let's Players is because it's like you just kind of jealous yeah Mm -hmm. because it's just relatively like easy yeah and like really i mean relatively anyway i don't even know if it is but in your mind you're like oh look at this guy he records Mm -hmm. himself he puts him up Mm -hmm. he gets million two million views and then you know i don't know if it's true or not more efficient yeah would be the better way of saying it yeah yeah Yeah. and and it is a little easy like depending on who you are of course but it is and depending on the editing you you do too You do two videos a day, right? Yeah. And I can't even fathom doing that. Right? Like, I can't even fathom (laughs) doing that. What are you doing, man? I don't know. Just jacking off in the corner, you know? It's great. Oh, hell yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'll try that. But they never see my webcam from the waist down. It's just Mark's backside (laughs) in a little corner jerking off. That's a a sim waiting to come out, too. Add that to your list, devs. It's already made. Mark jerking off in the corner simulator? I would be willing to bet that somebody has something like that. Many a body pillow. Has been made of me. Do oh. people fuck Markiplier body pillows? I hope. Have and you checked? Hope. Have you checked Rule Thirty Four recently? Uh, no, but it gets. Elo, can in... you find Markiplier body pillows? Can you please do that? Yeah. Um, you have the, everything, man. You have everything I don't. Body pillows. People want to fuck you. <laughs> you have kids who are dying. They're literally about it to die. Like he has kids. Biceps, yeah, not <laughs> kids. Not you have biceps. Yeah, 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 yeah buddy. Put look those, at me and then look down. at you. <laughs> put those down. <laughs> Get out of here. This is just suck Mark's dick podcast. Please tell me okay, about you. Then. What what's going? What what should I? Oh, what what is this? Uh, what is this? Just, <laughs> yeah. How this, can you even shirt? continue after what I just? Well, <laughs> I don't know because I don't have biceps. Uh, you no, do. Uh, you do. Yeah. What what are you asking? Nothing. I don't know. Okay. Support. Like, yeah. 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 question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, that is just okay. Let's have a look at Markiplier body pillows. <laughs> that is just honestly, I feel like I've never even. That's wow. Like you. Wait, but this one is. There's a cuff. 
Oh uh, no, those are keychain ones. So they're just mini, oh, it's mini. A just so you oh. see, like, just caress it in your hands. Yeah. I see a Danny Sexbang one just to the right of me. If you go scroll up a bit, I see a. Furry Wonder if we can photo. show this. I think that's Danny Sexbang. Just oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! With the hairy chest right Click. there. Is that uh, too? Should we it, not show this? Yeah, this one. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, probably not. Probably yeah. shouldn't. Oh wow! Look, wait, look wait, stop. This. There's definitely a furry. I oh, saw. how does that make you feel? Uh, you know. Does it make you feel desired or I feel, I feel, creeped? I, 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 to each their own. Like, as so long as it does, they don't try to shove it in my face, like whatever, I don't care. That's the thing. It's like because obviously you have you have fan fictions that are written about. I'm assuming you and and Tyler. Oh, other everyone. people that you're with, yeah, and it's like you click that Jack, it's, uh, Jack it's like, one. <laughs> <laughs> let's just let's just keep the Jack except the guy one, yeah. full frame. That's good. Uh, Your views are gonna skyrocket. Yeah, this is. Yeah. It's like it's like okay, like you know, fan fiction, like it's not for me. But if if this is your yeah. creative outlet, yeah. then then have, have at it. Have Enjoy you ever it. read gotten deep into the fanfic? Yeah, have you? <laughs> I, no. Why not? We, I telling you, I don't. I have nothing that you have. It's fascinating how many words they can come up with for dick. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, and, and it's also fascinating how many pages they can write. Sometimes yeah. there's entire novels. Yeah. We had Do you somebody... get fan fiction with you and, and he... Anthony? Oh yeah, that's got to be a really hot exchange. Sometimes it's it gets pretty it gets pretty steamy. But there's there's one that like we've we we did a couple of videos where we where we read them, mm. and there's one that like we tried to read, but it's. So so insanely graphic <laughs> wow. that it's like impossible to get through it. Like, oh my and, like, I, I feel like I have a pretty good stomach for that kind of stuff, but it's like um, there's milk involved. And, oh wow, that's um, crazy. Wait, milk. Your, your milk, like cow no, milk. No, uh, yeah, just like yeah, I think some some milk you buy at a oh, supermarket was involved okay. in a sexual act. Yeah, it goes into places where milk doesn't normally go into. <laughs> wow, that doesn't um, narrow it down. Your yeah. butthole, milk in the butt, <laughs> ears. Uh, yeah, yeah, some orifices for sure. Milk yeah. in the butt. Yeah, yeah, you can talk about it here. The specifics that are required. Let's get into here. this. Well, I mean, if you really want, you could pull up the fit, but I would not suggest it. It gets. It, it gets, sounds. I think in the is urethra. It safe for work? Oh, that's I a good hope guess. Not. I don't think I got that far, but I can assume that that probably happens. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. That Hello. takes like to get something in the urethra is like a pretty takes a takes good effort. Work, yeah. So I wonder if in the writing they're like, and then they sat down and strategized. Yeah. They right. thought to themselves, how can we get this milk in the urethra? As a, as, a, as a man who have had the prequel, it, yeah. multiple <laughs> uh, catheters, uh, it's uh, it's it's surprisingly oh. easy. <laughs> like, really, surprisingly easy. Yeah. Have you guys seen? Sometimes, <sighs> I've seen pictures. Okay, I haven't gotten too you deep. Talking about BME this. Pain Olympics? Is that oh, where you're going? No, I wasn't. But I, I that I heard is fake, by the way. BME which broke my heart. Yeah. What? It's this video. If you guys don't know. It's like been around forever, and I think yeah, every classic. kid was trauma. Have you seen this on the toilet? The one where he's cutting off his dick. It's a ah. compilation. Oh, oh I haven't seen the compilation. It's the Pain Olympics, and it's what? a compilation of all these guys just chopping their no. nuts off and no. they're castrating Wait, themselves. Real? And it is like real people. So it looks so real, but I heard it's fake. But I wonder if people just told me that to make me feel better because I do feel better <laughs> knowing that it's fake. But I want to believe. So real. I want to believe that it's that it's not real, just for my own sanity. I've heard that it's fake, and that help, that helps me sleep at night. Yeah. But anyway, I've seen pictures like dudes are into it when you like shove stuff into it's the urethra. Sounding. Sounding. Mm -hmm. oh, what? <laughs> Mark's like, I know about this shit, boy. Yeah, I know about it. It's called sounding. Wait, why is it called sounding? Uh, that I do not know, but I know that it's called sounding when you shove things in your urethra for pleasure. <laughs> Because you probably make a weird sound when it happens, maybe. Yeah. What do you suppose it sounds like? <laughs> no, I haven't done it. God, You're the catheter one. guy. Yeah, that Just... wasn't for pleasure. That was because I had a tumor removed. Right. A couple of catheters later, and Mark's at home sounding in the corner. <laughs> do they, do they knock you out for that, or is it just like, you're going to brace for this? <laughs> no, I, I, thankfully, happen. I was out when they put it in. But okay. I was awake yeah. when they pulled it out. So, oh. how, And like, how deep does it go? Can you gauge? <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely curious. For me, it's sure? it's kind of yeah. deep, you know. Guys. Yeah, really high set there. bladder. Well, <laughs> like, because when they pull it out, like, is it like a nice like it lasts for a minute where it's like, yeah. you know, yeah, it's it's all the way up into your bladder. Wow. Yeah. Does it make a sound? I got an explanation. When you, when you I didn't hear anything. Oh, Ela's got a, some some high updates on Sunday. Which sound are, Sean, Sean are we talking about? Sean stinks. Oh, Sean stinks. God <laughs> bless him. Oh. Sean from our old videos. I don't know if oh, knows. that reminds me. I have something exciting to tell you after yeah. we get okay, this update. Yeah. Oh. So Sean said urethral sounding is the medical use of probes 
called sounds to increase the inner diameter of the urethria and to locate obstructions in it. Let's go. Wow. Sounding. Well, here's the plus side to sounding, Mark, and I'm talking to you specifically because I know you're into this kind of thing. Thanks. Um, if you ever get bladder, what is it called? Kidney stones? Yeah. No, kidney stones are no problem when you sound. No, no, it's bad. Oh, it doesn't help? Well, because the pain, <laughs> the pain is... I thought it was in your dick. Well, yeah, it hurts. That's when you're passing it, but the, the real pain is between no uh, your kidneys and your bladder yeah. in this little tube called the ureter. And Do you have, have you had kidney stones? Yeah, it was the worst oh, fucking pain of my no. life. Really? Okay, yeah. this is fascinating. And it was like during a shoot too. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> did you did you finish the shoot? No. Oh, come yeah, on. The whole time I was like I was shooting, I was like, guys, there's like a weird like kink in my back. Oh. And like I was like trying to like pop my back. I was like, it's getting worse. I don't know. I thought like maybe I had to like take a shit or something. Oh so my God. and I was like I was like sitting around, I was like, guys, I don't know. And like I was sweating, I was like turning pale. And um, our director scary. thought that I was like I was like just being a little whiny, right. complaining person. <laughs> and then like I was like I was like I don't know, guys. I don't think I can finish this. I think I need to go to the hospital. And like and so they get uh, one of our friends like pulls a car up, and I take like one step in the car, and I just fucking throw up. Oh! And he's like he's like oh okay Whoa. no you're actually in pain. You must have been like if at the Whoa. time you don't know what it is you must have been really freaked out. Well I was like I was read I was on you know I was web MD okay <laughs> like yeah. my symptoms and I was like yeah. I think it might be kidney stones because it's like this terrible pain like okay. kind of like it's it's like not quite like where your spine is it's like mm. you know where your kidneys are yeah um and. And so yeah, it was it was the worst pain. I don't wish it on any of my wow. enemies. So walk me through that. How long did that last? Uh, well, so I went to the ER, and of course it was busy. So I had to wait. In the, I had to like wait in the waiting room. And in room. this whole time, the pain, pain doesn't subside. It does not. No. And there's no way you can dull the pain either. It's just you just have to sit there and just bear it. And then they took me in uh, triage and then gave me something, and then it was like no pain. So, so I think they gave me some like just some good shit. Some hardcore <laughs> yeah. good shit. And yeah. then I threw up again in in a sink. And then uh, and then they gave me some Percocet and Percocet. Percocet. Pa- yeah. Yeah. Perc- you know. And then I was and then I was okay, but it was wow. terrible. So wow. that is actually one of my worst That's, fears is getting a kidney stone. I really yeah. I fear about it every time I. And it's like every time I feel like I'm a really pain terrified in my of it. Back. I don't know why. Every Dude. time I feel a slight pain in my back, I'm like, "Fuck, is it not again?" Fuck, 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 oh, shit! <laughs> like I freak out, man. And so you had this horrible pain. How long were you in the ER? Uh, until I got treatment, like an hour maybe. Mm-hmm. But did you? But how do you treat that? Because you just oh, they like zap it with ultrasounds, right? If it's big enough, mine wasn't big enough to warrant like doing the mm-hmm. ultrasound thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so they did like a CAT scan, and then uh, and then yeah, they just gave me some some good drugs, good drugs, and then, and then, and then set me on my way. And they're like, "Well, you'll pass it eventually." Oh. And then I guess at some point it broke up, and I passed and, it. But and uh, you didn't know, like you couldn't, you didn't feel it happening. I no, just, no, that's really weird. Oh, so I think it, I think it broke up at some point. But some people they 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 feel it yeah. on the way out. See, and, that's what yeah. I've heard. Yeah, I remember. One of my good friends growing up, he said his dad has regular kidney stones, and he would hear him in the bathroom on a somewhat regular basis screaming in pain. Yeah. Wow. And this is a guy who's, like, been through war. Like, this is a guy who's seen shit. They, they That's what terrified it, me, that story. Yeah, yeah they equate it to um, giving birth. Like, uh, on like a pain, uh, on like a pain scale. I would doubt I kind of doubt that, too. Just wait. Yeah. <laughs> Just well, wait. you've I'd, been there. I've <laughs> been through some extreme pain. I haven't been through pain. childbirth. I haven't, I haven't given birth to a child. Well, but. I've been through extreme pain, and I still probably wouldn't equate it to childbirth. What was yeah. your extreme pain? I've been through a few things, um, but the top-ranking pain was after I got out of my surgery for my tumor removal. Um, they they split me down from the front, and then they had to scoop out my intestines and get I it. I love in. the scoop. Yeah, the scoop That's is what really image. did it. Uh, but they had to get it on my adrenal gland in the left one, so they, I just don't have an adrenal gland down there. Uh, but Do you take when, supplements for that? No, I'm fine. I don't have to take any medication. You don't need an adrenal gland? No, my right one is like beefy oh, okay, as hell. Okay. Like, <laughs> it's get right. super awesome. So you nice. still get stoked. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> no, right. Good. Yeah, but um, so after that, I had an epidural to uh, numb the pain, and that was helping at first, but it was making my legs numb, 
which is very bad in an epidural. They had to change up the medication to have less anesthetic, more painkiller. Uh, what they ended up doing was less anesthetic and no painkiller. So for a full hey, 24 hey, hours, hey, hey. I went post-op right after my abdomen was split with no painkillers. Uh-huh. No. Oh, I, was, uh, I was in. <laughs> that is horrible. Why would they do that to you? Yeah. Well, because they thought that they increased it, and it was the <laughs> pharmacy in the hospital that had gotten it wrong. Um, so, like, the full day, I kept going to my nurse and, like, this is really bad. Can you please not do this? Jesus. Like, uh, and, and, like, she believed me, but the doctor came in multiple times and just grabbed on my wound and just was like feeling for bleeding. It was like, you Why? feel fine. Because he didn't believe me. He God. didn't believe that I was in pain. And uh, I've been through, I've I've gotten second degree burns on my hands. I have had my intestines cinched off and like had an intestinal blockage. I've broken both bones in my arm. All those pain, I would do that again any day. Yeah. Never would I do that, it voluntarily do that pain again for yeah. that long. That's a nightmare. And even yeah. that I would not equate to childbirth. Well, the epidural mm-hmm. hurts like crazy too, right? No, the epidural is fine. What's oh, I thought that you? was like a shot straight into your spine. Yeah, but it, yeah. it's a drip into your spine. It's not a shot. Oh, like, uh, okay. I had this other thing though where they had to, when they had to get a uh, biopsy of the uh, of the tumor. The spinal? Oh, yeah, okay. They had to do a biopsy. So I was in a CAT scan and I was awake very little painkiller, and this guy just started stabbing this <sighs> this medical tool into my back, right into my adrenal oh, okay. gland, and just was like, all right, you, you, are, you brace, you and may just feel... pulled out a piece of my, like just, and I was like, ah! Oh! It felt like I was getting stabbed slowly. It was awesome. Dude, God. I stubbed my toe this morning. <laughs> Dude, that was hard. I actually have never been through, like, ex- you guys have seen some shit. That's it. Otherwise, I've, I've led a pr- pretty sheltered life. Oh. Yeah, you've you've seen shit. Buddy. I've seen yeah. shit. God damn. <laughs> I sh- I like I like I still know that there's people that have seen more shit. So I'm like, yeah. I'll take the yeah. shit I've been through, and right. it's okay. Pregnancy is is frankly horrifying. Like oh. I I am so thankful, and this is like giving respect to women. <laughs> no, like, it's and not. The, no, it is. I'm th- I'm so thankful because I know it's like a horrible thing that women have to go through. Like yeah. it must be horrible to confront that, and I'm so happy. You have to get no, but you have to. I mean, I'm grateful. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Every time, but it's like, thank God, I'm not you. (laughs) Well, it's kind of dope that I don't have to shit out a baby. Let's be honest. I mean, you're kind of true. But at this, but and by acknowledging that, I'm saying God bless you, (laughs) right? Right. We should all. Yeah. Thank you, Ela. Thanks, Ela. Thank you, Ela. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Ela. I want, Congratulations! There is like a machine that is supposed to simulate the pain. Uh, oh, that for, sounds great! Oh. Sign me up. Yeah, oh, it's like, like a, electrodes on your stomach, and it'll cramp everything up, and you'll. Ela's gonna make me do that now. I but that do doesn't. It. But I don't do think that you. would. I don't think they can. Ela wants me to do that. it while she's having yeah. that. Part. Oh, oh yeah, it can can't we, be near. Can we get a shot of Ian doing that motion? Just <laughs> that part. Yeah. Well, I've heard shit like that. That. The holes okay, fuse. Don't, don't, can the we holes not go fuse, there? my friends. No, they wait. fuse. Let's go back to video. Just games. by magic, <laughs> like they magically fuse. <laughs> they get they and they have to get stitched up. <laughs> like uh, to me, ploy. that's fascinating because it's just so horrifying. Well, also, don't you normally like? We're, we're, ta- we're still talking about pregnancy, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 apparently, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, don't you normally? I hear a lot of times when they give birth, uh, they also shit. Yep. Yes. Yeah. If you're it's in labor job, for 12 man. hours, that's you gotta a take messy. a dump something. Is that it, though? Wait, is it just like, oh, I have to shit, so I'm gonna shit myself? I think it's oh, the when you're pushing. squeezing, I think it's the push. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, I think it's yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. And it's all just a mess. I've heard that there's like, there's nurses who are on like shit duty and they just scoop it up real quick, and you're like, oh, that was, hey, nobody even <laughs> noticed. <laughs> they just, they have a code word. That they do to brown call town. the person. Brown town. Can we get a code brown town? Right, change of topic. <laughs> I don't know. Spook. Ela, I think we should just keep talking about pregnancy. <laughs> I'm on the side of Ela. changing subjects here. <laughs> oh man, Let's I talk have, about Ela, the uh, Ela, You have a you have a really good painful story that horrifies me that I think is fascinating about your wisdom one? teeth. Oh, oh it was more like <laughs> a, just traumatizing than the pain because hmm. I had my all my wisdom teeth removed and. Do they um, crack it? Yeah. In Israel, oh, you go. So the, please, they were growing means. like sideways instead of up. Mm-hmm. They were going sideways. That's so it was really. Right yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, you still have okay. yours? Yeah. You're going to yeah. have really? to get mine out too. Huh. Oh, whoa. Yeah. I thought that was like routine really? to do when you were. My brother got it. I didn't. Oh. Please tell me my future. <laughs> well, I'll tell well, you. Well, there's an easy fix that they don't do in Israel. Yeah. <laughs> I did my procedure in Israel. Yeah. 
so apparently in Israel they don't put you under um under is that how you, you can say, say that anesthesia yeah. Or, yeah. yeah yeah anesthesia so they just do a local kind of thing where oh, you, wow. they just numb this area but you're completely awake and i was completely aware of everything and he just the doctor first of all was very like aggressive not like a gentle dude and he just cracked the tooth and it, i don't know why it was just so horrifying to me <coughs> i just I was yeah. just like, I like, was just traumatized and I just, <laughs> I was just crying the whole time. The way time. you described it is like they're in there and they're, you can feel, because yeah. you're they're numb. Not, they're you're not numb. gentle though, right? No, they're just like, gentle. you're breaking it yeah. too. Yeah. But you're, you're numb to the pain, but you can feel the crunching yeah. and the yeah, cracking. and the noises. Uh, <laughs> right? Oh God, th- this I is our future, you, Mark. This yeah. is our future. No, 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 no. <laughs> I had my wisdom tooth out. They put me to sleep. I woke up. I said, good night, moon. God bless America. Went home, took, ate some Vicodin, had a nap. I was fine. Yeah, when Ethan told me that, I was like, "What? That's not fair." <laughs> a lot of a lot of them don't, and a lot of them say that that um, anesthesia is just a way for the oral surgeons to get more money out of you mm. because uh, they're. I would pay I would, it though. <laughs> After hearing it. Eula's story, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think all, I want to be put under for sure. And also, I was I needed to do all four of them, and the guy was like, "Just do it now," and I was like. I was crying like hysterically. <laughs> I was like, "No, I am going home." People have and, no compassion then, in Israel. <laughs> and then I just I came back four times to do each one separately because oh, no. I was that, holy crap! I, I didn't know suffering. you did it four times. Oh yeah. my no. god! Whoa. So I was, <laughs> it was like. <laughs> Can you imagine? The it's worst like thing doing, in my life. Seriously. I didn't know you did it four times. That's horrifying. <laughs> But Yikes. honestly, it's not Dude, that props. bad, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> that was honestly. good. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> just wait for pregnancy. I'd, you know? I'd, try it. I'd try it. I would try one just to see what it was like. Not to like show you up. I'm not trying I to show you up, but I just I want to know. I, I am. Yeah. yeah. I throw myself into things, and I just love trying new things. And even if they're terrible, like uh, on on Felix's uh, show, like Scare Pie mm-hmm. season two, like I had to rest get in pictures. pieces. <laughs> yeah. I heard about it. I was on that too. Yeah. You you were. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. You were. Of course, you told me you were. Well, but yeah. I had to eat a pig testicle. And all that. Is and now that's never yeah. going to see the light of day. Yeah. Yeah. So stupid. How was that? <laughs> It People do that for joy, though. It was very dry. The problem was, like, I would, I, I would have been fine if it was like a nice moist pig testicle. Mm, but that's it was what just I dream of. Bone dry and room temperature, and just you know, they didn't un- dress it up. I had no drink with it. You know, I had to just choke it down. No milk. <laughs> yeah, <Is it> dusty. <laughs> a little dusty. Yeah, a little dusty. It's funny. Felix was telling me the story about Scare PewDiePie season two, and he was like, in our episode, he lost and he had to eat like a pig brain or something. Mm-hmm. It was. Frankly, very anticlimactic. Yeah. But regardless, um, he's like, I told the producers, the one thing I told them going into season two was I don't want to eat anything weird. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, uh-huh. okay, okay, for sure. And then, like, the ending of every episode was yeah. him eating something horribly weird. Yeah. <laughs> How many times did he lose? He lost my episode. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, Got him. It was like uh, those, I, I'll just straight up say, it, those producers were assholes. <laughs> like, just they were, woo. I'm glad. Yeah, we can talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna work with. Well, them. I don't. I don't think Felix cares about him. Yeah. Well, they they ditched the show. They were kind of like, I was surprised, man. It didn't seem very professional operation. No, not at all. Well, it's also. I think it's also a lot of like, a lot of those producers come from like TV and they and did other like stuff. the Amazing then, Race. Yeah, I think, and then they, they and then they're like, oh, I'm doing this digital thing. Yep, <laughs> that was the attitude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and yeah. it's very much like, and we've had that sim- similar like stuff before, no where respect. it's like. People are like, I got better things to do, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm just not going to put my effort in. That's some low character shit. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's weird, especially like even with like department stuff, like uh, if if it's like not like because, you know, on YouTube, like we our hands are in so many things and it's like, oh, that light's wrong. I'm going to go fix that light or whatever. But <laughs> like in L.A. and in, in this business, it's like. Oh, that's not my department. <laughs> yeah, that's dude, the, dude, that's the oh my god, department. I just got reminded. I was doing the episode with Felix yeah. on Scare PewDiePie 2, season 2. There was a scene, I was stuck on a roof, and oh, they were yeah. setting up these shots. I was up there <laughs> yeah. for like two hours while they were getting ready. That's fine. I had an earwig in my ear, which is, if you guys don't know, it's a wireless ear mic so that the producers are going to be like, hey, do this, right? And I was standing up there, and the earwigs stopped working it was getting staticky so I, I tried to take it out it didn't come out 
I couldn't get this earwig out of my ear. <laughs> and I started panicking. I was freaking out. I was up on this roof. Nobody was up there. I couldn't talk to anyone. They're setting up. And I'm trying to dig this earwig out of my ear, and it's going in deeper. Ooh. It starts to hurt. It feels like it's bleeding. I'm, like, <laughs> legitimately freaking out. And I'm like, fuck it. I need to say something. Because they were about to roll after, like, two or three hours of setup. I'm like, I don't want to ruin this shoot. But I'm panicking. Yeah. So there's these guys downstairs setting stuff up. I'm like, yo, dude, can you call a producer? I'm having a panic attack. And he's and they gave me this. They're like, hey, uh, what? Hey, I just do. I just do the pyrotechnics. It's not my job. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, help me. I was like, help me. I'm in pain. I need help right now. And they're like, ah. they literally were yeah. like, what? Eh, mm-hmm. not my. Yeah, not, I, I was like, what? I was I was also there and I was under Ethan like it was yeah, like a, yeah, yeah. it was like a little house and it was on the roof and I was inside and I could hear him and I was like Is someone do something so Ela <laughs> was in this shack yeah it's a probably a good thing they canceled that our our episode was fucked but oh. regardless that's a, um, Ela was in the shack and he, Felix was gonna save me and I come down on a ladder and I kick down the door and save Ela. So it's just me and her and I'm like Ela and I'm talking to her. Yeah. She's downstairs in the building. And I'm like I'm freaking out. What do I do? And Nobody I don't know what me. to do. I'm, I'm imagining that and you guys are way. just like in this random like hut yeah. in the middle of nowhere with nobody around you. You guys are just screaming like out Dude. to nobody. Yeah. By the way, I was At laved night. up. Yeah. I was laved up and I had rapport with the sound guy. We goofed around a little bit before I climbed up to my ultimate demise on top of that roof. And I was started talking into the mic out of desperation because I knew he could hear me. And I was like, please send help. I know you can hear me laugh, guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking to you. You're my only help. <laughs> nobody came. <laughs> wow. That was weird. So maybe, I, maybe your mic never worked. Oh, it worked. I went up to him after. I was like, yo, what the fuck, dog? You left me in the trenches. He's like, hey, sorry. Not my department. Not my yeah. department. Uh, not my I'm department. not a medic. <laughs> <laughs> but I did the shot. And then afterwards, I'm like, okay, so um, my lawyer's on the way. No, I, didn't <laughs> no. say that. I didn't say that. No, but, but anyway, they had a medic come yeah. up, and he pulled it out with tweezers, like some like alien medical parasite. medical tweezers. Yeah. What? It looked scary. Oh, Dude, that, that was crazy. that was traumatic. That's sketchy. Yeah. But that whole episode was honestly a total train wreck. Yeah. I wasn't too happy about my operation either. Like it just it, I I was in a similar situation where I was just set waiting but I was blindfolded, hmm. which, like, I'm fine with Oh, that. they did that to us. They did that yeah. to us? For, like, no reason, right? Yeah. <laughs> for yeah. three hours. Yeah. You were blindfolded for three, three hours? hours? Yeah, three hours and in the back like, of a van. <laughs> yeah, we, so they did that to us. And then when they finally took off the blindfold, it was, like, completely pointless. <laughs> yeah, no! Like, it didn't matter. I saw everything. I, w- <laughs> I was expecting so much more because they put you in this blindfold. You're expecting mm-hmm. to take it off and there's, like, zombies in the car. Yeah. No. Or, you, yeah, completely you expect, pointless. like, everything to be a prank on you, right? Because yeah. you're and then it's completely not. And then they just take it off and they walk you into the room. They were like, don't look at anything. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I could have helped you set up if you needed it. Like, yeah. I would have done that. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> but, like, pretty much the my problem with that show was, like, they have these scenes where they're like, okay, all these actor zombies are going to chase you. Pretend like you're scared. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well... That's the weird thing about like because it was it was kind of like it was scripted but also reality yeah yeah and it's that weird thing where it's like am I supposed to be acting I feel like they do or am I supposed to be myself yes I've seen it happen a lot on YouTube Red yep yeah they did that one zombie show did you guys see that no No, I watched a little piece and I. I didn't understand. There was like Fousey I didn't Tube and Fatali. Which one was that one? Yeah. Fatali. It was, it was a Fight the Living Dead yep. or something like that? Yeah. Ah, yep. yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. But it was I, like a weird like semi-scripted, semi-reality contest yeah. show. A lot of the shows are like that, and it just does not work as a format, I feel like. Yeah. It's too Joey Garcefa's Haunted Mansion one is the same. Yeah. I mean... I've never seen it. I, I haven't seen any other YouTube Red show, which is kind of like bad for me to admit, but I just, they haven't interested me. Like, yeah. yeah. No, it's completely fair. I mean, that's the criticism I would level against YouTube Red is that they 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 need to invest in making some good shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, think it plus it takes time and they don't have, they don't have. Netflix. I mean, it's kind of funny because you're like, oh, YouTube, owned money. by Google. They should have money, but they don't have like Netflix money to spend on productions. Where it's like Netflix mm. spends like a hundred million on a shoot. Yeah, and for that's YouTube, true. They do that. Red, it's like, well, you don't need a hundred million to make a good show. Yeah. No, but it would help you get some good writers. Yeah. You don't need a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> no, <you need> <laughs> All right, for your shit. Give me a little piece of that, Mike. Yeah. 
they're like, yeah, you're not a good writer. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I feel like that's where it's lacking. What I'd like, like a to lot see, of the, just the yeah. creative yeah, stuff I is agree. just the production, everything. Like yeah. what I'd love to see on YouTube Red is a House of Cards style show that doesn't have even have a YouTuber in it. Yeah, like yeah. The, the the flagship show. Yes. Like the one where they put all their money in the basket and they, they're like, okay, let's make this great. They don't have a flagship show. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a damn shame because they could. Like yeah. they could. There's yeah. talent on YouTube. There definitely is. Yes. But I just feel like it's not the right amount of talent or the right people that are getting addressed for it. For Somehow. Because right a lot of those people end up just going to, you know, TV or Netflix <clears throat> mm-hmm. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's, a good point. It's hard That's to. Because, you know, Miranda just went. She went straight to Netflix, yeah. and I yeah. think it did. I think it did. Uh, I think My camera smashed well. the camera. Are we uh, framed up? Jay no! Said. Look how off I am now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, but yeah, no, yeah, like exactly. Like if if that's the show that they want to make, and they want to make it with the, like it to be good, like they <coughs> might as well go to the people that are going to make it that's good. Right. But they, that's what YouTube's problem. They need to. They need to like. They need to compete in terms of what they can offer. I think it comes down to a money thing. Mm. Like Netflix just has more Netflix, Hulu, they Amazon. They have great teams. They have great people. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, YouTube's just starting out with with the content. You know, somehow like stuff. Logan Paul's in everything too. How did, that is true. I haven't um, noticed that. He's yeah. in every fucking thing. The Viner. Did you I guys? Was gonna say, what? I was gonna say. You say they need so much money, but like for example, you guys' sketches are like. They look like TV level. Yeah, what sketch. is with that, by the so, way? I mean, they're not, ch- they're not cheap. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. But do you have you $100 pro- million? Dollars? We, I mean, no, but God like am, we... God <laughs> am alert. <laughs> but I mean, like, we we spend probably... We probably spend more than what we make in YouTube ad revenue on mm-hmm. our sketches. So Definitely. We, we have to rely on, you know, sponsored content or, you know, originals or anything like that to, to make up. Um, but yeah, like we, you know, it costs a lot to, to make big productions and, you know, especially for something like, like with, cause we did a YouTube red movie. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's, it also comes down like you could say like, oh, well, I mean, you made that with, you know, this much money. Like, why can't you do that with a movie? It's like, well, you know, a movie requires, you know, a month to shoot, but then suddenly it's like, we only have the budget for 15 days. Mm. Oh, yeah, so we sh- <laughs> yeah so we shot we shot Ghostmates in fifteen days. That's crazy. holy shit. Yeah. Usually well, nuts. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What was your schedule like yeah. every day, it's, all day? Well, I mean, yeah, it was. But I mean, our our, our shoots are always twelve hour days anyway. But mm. but it was a lot of it was a lot of finagling with like okay, so um, that thing that you wanted to happen outside that's now also going to take place here. Mm. And then we were we were making cuts. We were making the entire like scene cuts and changes like on the day wow. to make up for time. So there's like there's oh, like that's whole horrible. stuff. Yeah, that really sucks. yeah, that yeah. Is horrible. but you know you can only do so much with with you know. It kind of it kind of yeah. really sucks that they do that because then nobody's like oh fuck you to red like if your end product gets destroyed because of them yeah. it, then everyone's like these guys suck not you to red. Mm. Yeah, I mean you just have to make compromises. Yeah. But. You're yeah. real professional. <laughs> You're real I, you know, class act. I'm, I'm glad you think that. I, I'm glad the, the ruse is keeping I, together. I, I, that's such a shame, though, to hear because, uh, like, I haven't had a chance to do a YouTube Red series, but I've been offered, like, a lot. Like, a lot I've been offered. Um, and, and I've turned everything down just because I wanted to make, like, I, I like being in control. And if right. someone mm-hmm. told me I had to cut a scene out of my sketch the day that I was doing it, yeah. I would be livid. Yeah. Right. I would lose my shit over that. I yeah. would not want to do the. I, if like when I when I make things and like uh, admittedly I mostly do let's plays, but when I do sketches, like the most proud thing I'm done lately was uh, this thing I did called the date with Markiplier. Yeah, yeah. that was that crazy. was you saw it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was amazing, man. Oh. That was mind blowing. <laughs> I got I the was fish like, ending. Holy yeah. Flip. Oh, you did. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. yeah, but that was us. We 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 just shot that like. <laughs> on our own, with our own camera, with our own equipment, like I'm really impre- a small team. That's, I, I loved that, like because yeah. it was we had so much passion in it. Like it, it was very YouTube in like the way it went through, but like the production was no, very high level. Yeah. It did? Yeah. Oh, thank you guys. I mean, I think I really liked your makeup lady. Thank you. She was pretty awesome. She was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. she was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Um, Do you want to tell a little bit about what it was for people who it haven't was like seen a ch- it? It was the Choose Your Own Adventure, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, for anyone that haven't seen it, and there's probably a lot of people yeah. that haven't, it, it was a, this Choose Your Own Adventure with, um, we had about 24 different videos and 10 different endings on it. Um, and it was an ambitious passion project we did for Valentine's Day. We shot it in five days, 
and we edited it in 36 <coughs> hours. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, that's wow. insane. The, yeah. p- the post-production quality was like super high. I was, sh- mm-hmm. I was, was amazed. It? Yeah, that was us. That was me, Ethan, and Catherine all slaving away. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I kind of led, but everyone was like doing the, like picking up the pace. Like just because I've been doing YouTube longer I, and like I'm better with special effects, but mm-hmm. like I got to give credit to Catherine and Ethan. They did, without it, it would have been impossible without mm-hmm. them. Like, and I'm not trying to make myself sound better by like, but it was just like, that's the level of control I want. I want to be right. in mm-hmm. every step of the production, like yeah. pre plan planning in the shoots, directing and editing. Like mm. that's what I need. And with YouTube Red, it's just like that removal of control that I, I right. just, it's hard to let go yeah, of. Yeah, because you're 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 playing with somebody else's money. Yeah. So it's yeah. I guess they wanna they wanna say in, in the in the content. Yeah. And yeah. Well so it's, when when you begin the negotiations on a project, you should be able to get some idea of how many days and what's the but you know everything. Like is was it a surprise? Like, did they do a 180 on you? I mean, it wasn't, no, it wasn't really a surprise. We knew that we would have limited time given the budget, but we just wanted to write the the best script possible and then and then figure out how to make it work. Right, mm. right. Um, but then, yeah, some some things just because of, you know, as you know, with, with you know, this podcast, like sometimes <laughs> yeah. productions run behind yeah. because of unforeseen yeah. technical always. problems. They or, always do. Or, yeah. or maybe like one actor really sucks and you have to keep doing more and more takes until you get the right take. Interesting. Yeah. Um, you're talking about yourself, is that what you're doing? <laughs> I, I, I've definitely made some bad takes for sure. You, some some would even say of. every take of mine is bad. But <laughs> some, some have said. <laughs> but but uh, I, yeah. Honestly, I got to tip my beanie to you guys at, at Smosh because yeah. like, oh, I, don't, I don't know how you guys achieve the level of polish like when you guys have television quality content and i don't know how you do it thank you it's crazy i mean we have a we have a good team i mean the same thing with you like we have a really good team of people that we've we've had for i mean we've had the same director for probably like seven years now wow and he's like you just got to find people that you guys have like wardrobes and sets (laughs) i'm like what yeah yeah i mean that's what that's what i was trying to say it really feels like i'm watching a show on tv like the level yeah yeah, I mean, like we we started out, you know, with a webcam, That's and uh, <laughs> and then we like upgraded to this really shitty handy cam where you could hear the DV tape winding yeah. <laughs> while you're recording, <laughs> and like we just wanted to make sure that the content was always improving, like mm-hmm. the quality, the sound quality, the picture mm-hmm. quality, mm-hmm. the acting, <laughs> which I which I think has gotten a little better over the years, uh, but um, yeah, like we're we're really proud of of the the quality of because it's not something you. It is, you are seeing more of it on YouTube now, but it's still taking some time. And plus, sketch comedy is like insanely hard to do on a on a regular basis. So mm-hmm. there's, I mean, I don't. There's not really many other sketch com- comedy people other than like Ryan Higa who's killing it. Yeah. Sketch yeah. comedy is impossible. I them, <laughs> I like seriously. It's so like look at Saturday Night Live. Right. I mean, they have so many shit episodes, and it's they're <laughs> funny people. It's just, can you make funny sketches? Every, well, every and they're, week, and they're working on on that week, like they're writing sketches, which is pretty insane. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, it's, it's always relevant. It's so hard to make funny sketches. Yeah, um, I agree. And I you agree guys make sentiment. how many a week? Three? We do, we do uh, two week. Yeah, that's bananas. That's crazy. Yeah, that's bananas. <laughs> that is straight up bananas. We haven't missed a Friday in like eight. Years. Wow. Holy freaking wow. smugs, yeah. man! Well, we Dang. we skipped we skipped one because it was like it had a shooting scene and it was like the Sandy Hook happened like the day before, mm. now and we're like, okay, we can't heaven. release this video tomorrow. Oh well, so mm. wasn't even so. You guys, you can't even so take you that were as a strike. <laughs> right? You yeah. were ready. It was right. it was sand. It was that. Yeah, it's that fucking that bad man. Yeah. Have you you know we watched that together right the you know that song now they're up in heaven Little yeah baby, we did baby yeah. Yeah. We're, we're that was where I am yeah mm-hmm. memorializing Sandy Hook oh yeah now they're up in heaven <laughs> anyway did he give that money or did he did he oh. keep it all I don't even know I don't know that they <laughs> probably didn't make too much money from that one yeah yeah hmm. I didn't follow up on that <laughs> yeah, I didn't follow. <laughs> yeah all right let's take a quick break mm-hmm. I'm gonna use the loo mm-hmm. I'm gonna get some water. I'm going to sling some undies, Mm. (laughs) and then we'll come back. So, um, okay, how should I do this? Should I just do it real fast? Uh, Yeah, let's do the undies. Is this your first time plugging? 
No, well, live. In this, in oh, live. Oh, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Me undies, uh, congratulations <laughs> on trusting Ethan. Thank you so much. All right, guys, this is the, the portion of the show where I'm going to read our sponsor, who, by the way... Wait. Oh, okay. Are we good? Are we seeing Ethan right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you just saw the... Yeah. I saw the H3, okay, cool. so I thought... Um, by the way, thank you so much to those who support our show. It means so much, and it enables us to keep getting out here and shaking our dicks and having a great time and having some laughs. This week's sponsor is Me Undies. Elevate your underwear game to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> but on the real, these are some soft undies, boy. You don't need to smell them. <laughs> Have a smell, Doug. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Baba Ganoush. Mm, me undies. <laughs> these these are legitimately the softest undies I've ever felt. It's like soft. silk. Modal. Mod- it's Mod- made from birch trees, I believe. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but no, I ever since I found out about Modal, I've loved everything. Oh about. my goodness. <laughs> There's also the women's one. Can you show that? I prefer Ooh. women underwear personally. Yeah. <laughs> this is sexy. Oh yeah. Hello, Dolly. This is that Lewis looks, confirmed. That doesn't look particularly like women's underwear. That it's just kind looks of like tiny Why? <laughs> This is like some big beautiful women undies, right? No, it's not. Um, it's just a medium. That is a, <laughs> that is some wow. Oh, you know, Ethan, your Who's expectations of women's body sizes is offending Seriously. me. I mean, I, no, I mean, there's a size discrepancy. I, just, <laughs> like, I have a pretty fat waist. Line. This is a large. That's a medium. Yeah. I like my. I like them beautiful. Like I like my undies, beautiful and large. Mm. Me undies are designed in LA and made from substantially sourced micromodal. So what? Sustainably sourced? Sub, sustainab- sustainably sourced micromodal. A fabric three times soft. See, I've never done copy where I just read it. Uh-huh. How does it feel? It doesn't feel right. <laughs> usually, it doesn't. Because usually I'll, I'll maybe, just give a genuine yeah, I'll talk about the product. Maybe if you say it in a different voice, it won't feel so weird. <laughs> Me undies. See, how does that feel? That sounds feel good. better? It's like you disguise yourself. You're not the one doing exactly. it. Exactly. Me undies are designed... And L- no, see, it doesn't feel no. right. I don't think they'll like that. Either. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I doubt it. <laughs> Let me tell you about MeUndies. They're soft. Underwear is something people don't think about. They don't appreciate it. But it's the first thing you put on when you wake up, and it's the last thing you take off before you go to bed. Feels like you bed. deserve <laughs> to have a great, soft pair of undies. And you can get one by going to MeUndies.com forward slash H3. Um... Uh, you get 20% off your first pair by going to MeUndies.com forward slash H3. And here's a wild thing. If you don't like it, you can wear it and send them back your dirty undies for a full refund. Oh, hey, do you think they just wash them and then That's like, what I, I, them? I really <laughs> wondered that. Oh, I hope like, what they happens? Burn them. <laughs> I feel like they Maybe should just... Maybe it's like a Super Bowl shirt situation where they send off like all they... the returns to a third like, world country. Maybe. Yeah. I feel like they should just let you keep it. Maybe there's some sort of recycling. Why not? Yeah. At that point, I mean, it's... and there's some poor lady who's just handling all the dirty undies. Oh. But here's the thing about me undies. Uh-huh. You don't return it because you love it. It's <laughs> soft. It's fluffy. It's cuddly. It's going to take care of your boys and your girls. Pound it. As long... And it's colorful. <laughs> Get a small one, I mean, is what I mean. How right. about the how about the print? I didn't it's return mine. <laughs> I didn't return mine, so. Mark, right. I will buy some. Thank you for that endorsement. <laughs> I will buy some using the link, meundies.com slash h3h3. No! Ah. <laughs> meundies.com forward slash h3. Just that. Sorry, I'm an asshole. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just, I'll, I'll go in post-production and remove the last h3. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll fix this. Um, guys, I really appreciate our sponsor, MeUndies. They're let me see if there's any, any other interesting things here about to say about them. This is the best pro- I mean, they only want like a minute. And this has gone on for like 10 minutes. Yeah, no, we're giving them the best plug ever. This is, come on, guys, get real. Let's see. They do undies. They're, you know, bold shades, adventurous patterns. That's not really a selling point, let's be honest. Just underwear, Mark. They also do like... Uh... <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. No, they do more. They do more. <laughs> tell, me, tell me about it. Let me look on the website. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you're not subscribed, that's okay. You can apparently get undie subscriptions. <laughs> Great. That's but if you're not subscribed, that's fine because use the flipping code that we provided. Did not they the write Mark flipping provided. on there? They did. They're like, you know what? Wow. Ethan's like, a really flack. cool guy. He'll definitely say <laughs> flipping. That sounds like an Ethan. Get your thing. flipping flacking undies. <laughs> 
at MeUndies.com forward slash H3. You won't regret it. Tell me about it. I'm going to be wearing my pair. I want you guys to be wearing your pair. Help support the show. Support our sponsors. We love you. We appreciate you. Do they have any other products? Yeah, they also do sweatshirts, Wow, shorts. sweatshirts in this same Ooh. fabric? Uh, I want that. They do shirts, muscle tank. Muscle Mar- tank. Mark is oh, yeah. Yeah. Please. Please. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, yeah, they all do right. a lot of stuff. They do all kinds of stuff. Go on, head on over to meundies.com forward slash H3. This is the greatest ad of all time, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're this welcome. Is, yeah. We're going on like 15, <laughs> 20 minutes. Yeah. I don't you know, know if they're going to love or hate it. I got more material on MeUndies if you guys want to just keep going. Yeah. yeah. What do you got? Not... For like 30 minutes? We got 30 <laughs> we minutes. Got to talk about <laughs> We're taking the show on the road. <laughs> they they, they pay you by the minute, right? Yeah, yeah. So like the more, the longer we go. I've just been waiting your stand-up set all about MeUndies right here. Here's the deal about MeUndies. All right, we'll be back in five five short minutes. Welcome back, guys, to the H3 Podcast. Had a little tinkle, and we're ready to go. <laughs> I have to tell you something. Our guest next week is going to blow your mind. Can we guess who it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guess. Yeah, take a guess. Jimmy Fallon. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. No. Tone it down. Big time. All Tone right. it down. Okay. Big time. Logan Paul. I, w- I would Tone love Tone it by down. <laughs> <laughs> can, you please, can you please get Logan Tone Paul? Tone it down. <laughs> Bring Logan Paul in here, but like have the room be like full of colors and see if <laughs> just uh, test him be like, hey. <laughs> I have a really funny Logan Paul story. But wait, let's stay focused. I really <laughs> I really want to tell this story. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Wait, what should we do? But what should we do I'll, first? I'll just uh, Who's so the guest? The je- it's Joey Salads. Oh! oh. Tone it. I'm the same exact <laughs> yeah. the reaction. Joey Salads is coming on our podcast next week. Oh. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah no, that's really cool. It's gonna gonna, be you're going to toss some salad. Oh, boy, I'm going to bring that Caesar. I'm going to bring that ranch. I'm going to bring some bao bring salmon. All yeah, yeah, I'm going to bring it all. Yeah. You never know what kind of salad oh, dressing man, you I can't want. wait for that. That's going to yeah. be cool. It's going to be fun. Is he hanging out here for a while? Is he moving to LA? Yeah. Do yeah, I have he, to look out for him? Where is he? Based out of. He's, in, he's, he's a Jersey really? boy. Jersey oh, yeah. Jersey. I think he's in L.A. for a minute. He's doing some serious film work about how Muslims are ruining <laughs> society or something. Whatever he's up to, I don't know. Yeah. Some really interesting <laughs> shit. Some, child <laughs> some, some, some fascinating original Joey Sells programming. But I thought right. that I thought you might appreciate that. I, I do appreciate that. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> do you, well, you want to say why? Because well, you're like, I thought that you would appreciate that. Well, because we spoke and you you had mentioned that you watched Joey Sells. Oh, I, I'm, yeah, I'm a big Salads fan. I'm sure. sorry. <laughs> no. I just remember that we had a conversation yeah. previously. Yeah, well, because, yeah, because yeah, I was like, I was like, have you seen this shit? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, dude, I'm already making a video on it. I was like, okay, yeah. good. <laughs> Which one was it at the time? I think it was um, the Trump car. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Trump yeah. car. Yeah. I was I like, did you see that? No. Oh, oh maybe we should pull one. it up. Oh, my God. It's like, it's like one of the best videos to come out of the whole last year. Yeah. It's basically, he gets all these black people <laughs> in a parking lot. Uh-huh. I'll just describe it. Yeah, just describe it. He gets all these actors. Actors, black actors. Mm-hmm. He goes to a bad neighborhood in New York and he gives them all like weapons. And he says, beat the shit out of this car that has Trump stickers on it. And then he frames the video like, I trumped, I trumped, <laughs> I parked a car with Trump stickers in a black neighborhood. Oh. And so they all came and vandalized it. But he just had all these actors do it. Yeah. And he, and like, the comments and the reaction to that video was like explosive. Like all these alt writers and conservative media were eating it up. Like, and this whole like Trump mania about how we're victims, whatever. Well, I don't know whatever about the narrative, but his video was fake. And we made a video about it. And, and there's it, like a Snapchat video that somebody yeah. took from like exactly. up in the building showing him like orchestrating the video with them. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh. I mean, it's like a Street Fighter level. All of a sudden, he just walks out and all these black guys with like pipes just start hitting. It's like ridiculous. It's like, where did they get those pipes from? Yeah, it's ridiculous. And I'm like, and I saw this video, I'm like, this shit is fake and r- super racist. And everyone was like, fuck you, Ethan, you know this one's real. <laughs> and I was getting super angry and frustrated with our community, or at least those people in our community. Mm-hmm. And then like three days later, this video surfaced that Ian referenced of somebody in a high rise was filming him, <laughs> coordinating it with these guys. Yeah. Directing it. And <laughs> oh my goodness, that was, that was. One that wasn't the only video though, because he had another one where he's like, I left the car with the trunk <coughs> yeah. open yeah. in a black neighborhood. He didn't and it's conf- like, he didn't confess to that one being fake. But he just doesn't like black people. He just doesn't like black people. <laughs> or at least he knows what his audience I think the first yeah. the first video I saw the first video the first salads video I think I saw was um was trying to educate people on um 
date rape drugs in at he loves bars. that oh yeah <laughs> so that's like, a great one yeah he that went to a, a bar one. and and he's like and it's just Mark, like little, are you not caught up on the salad vision no oddly oh, enough man, i feel ashamed it's, it's great you're missing out great watching, you're missing out. It's, it's great well, watching. he's a prankster if you didn't get it he's oh just, I, yeah, I, i've yeah. seen your videos okay on, like okay. the majority okay. of them okay. but yeah there's a lot yeah but that was like that was like he was like he did this thing where he's like he's like you know a lot of people get date raped in bars, so I'm going to show you how to not get date raped or something. <laughs> it was and, super awkward. Yeah, and, because... and then he was like, he'd sit down next to a person, yeah. and then he'd be like, wow, look at that thing over there. <laughs> and then he'd drop this like fake pill in their drink, and then and they're like, okay. And he's like, don't drink that. I put drugs in that. <laughs> yeah, and they're just weirded <laughs> out as fuck. They're like, why did you do that? And why did you tell me? What is happening? And then and then he tries to like, <laughs> like the last, the last girl. Don't drink that. Yeah, and then like, the last girl uh <laughs> he like he does it to and then and then he's like don't do that i put drugs in that and then like he told her this whole thing and he's like but really though can i get your number <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. like the audacity you gotta give him some respect for like oh yeah. after like you know putting fake drugs in somebody's drink to still ask for a number huge respect yeah she said no by the way it was a heartbreak it had all the Dude. twists and turns though of a oh. very classical dramatic movie oh no yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my, I'm just so many emotions. Just as many emotions in the first half of the show. Like as in it's the, a it's like, a roller coaster man. ride. Oh boy. What was it I was gonna talk about? Logan, Logan Paul. Paul. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys <laughs> stay <laughs> in I love me some this Logan is a good Paul story. Stories. This is a good story. Yeah. Uh, this this shit tripped me out. So I'm hanging out with some friends. I've never. Have you guys been to Notch's house? No. No, but I, I'm a, I'm aware of it. Okay. So Notch, mm-hmm. if you don't know, he has the most expensive house in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He paid eighty million dollars for this house in Beverly Hills. He outbid Beyonce and Jay Z. Imagine me Beyonce and Jay Z being outbid by this <laughs> yeah. Swedish goofball with friend wearing a fedora. Yeah. Anyway, he did it. Well, he sold he sold Minecraft for like two billion. Yeah. Right? yeah. He's yeah. fine. That's that's chump change. God, that whole. Just the n- whole Notch phenomenon is a, is a whole wild ride, but that's that's neither here nor there for he's now. He's a cool guy. I met him. Super yeah. nice guy, yeah. man. I read some really real nice. sad thing, like where he's like saying, like after he got all that money, it, he's like really lonely. It it would it would alienate you. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. the impression I've got from him. Work, yeah, yeah. You know what? Me and Ela were talking yeah. about this day. Something interesting. People always be like, oh, when you get money and success, you change. And I was like, oh, you change. But the truth is, I feel like the people around you change yeah. even yeah, more, I, I would say. I was saying, like, oh. no no one ever talks about the people around you changing. Yeah. Like, all of a sudden, friends are, like, trying to pitch you stuff. Or, I, there's a few rap you know songs I mean? that, that, that speak oh, on the issue. Oh, they dress those issues? Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. common issue yeah. among, among the rap community. That's oh good yeah good okay good I'm glad someone's addressed this. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just, just so, yeah. Rappers and Notch. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, Notch is a super interesting, sweet guy, and mm-hmm. I, I get that sense too that he's super isolated. But yeah. um, so anyway, he throws. It's part of the weird thing about him is that he throws these huge, extravagant parties. Okay, yeah. like and it's a scene. This is what I didn't expect. We rolled up, and it's like young, beautiful. Someone's rolling on MD in the carpet. They're like rolling around. It's like a, it's like a, it's a wild scene. There's an open bar. There's like flames. There's security guards. Was there guards a mountain there? of cocaine? No. I did not see a mountain of cocaine. Hmm. No, but there's a bar. It's probably and... one of the back rooms. I didn't get that level <laughs> yeah. of access. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not VIP enough. <laughs> yeah, but but it's like a crazy party, like super high class. Everyone's looking good. So the it's funny weird. thing is that Notch is like a very ordinary guy. Yeah. I don't think like. On a personal level, it does seem the wealth has changed very much because you have all these really high fashion scenesters and then Notch rolls through and like a, With just a, like a, to, a polo shirt he's had for 10 years yeah. Yeah. and Respect. wearing a fedora. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> but the weird thing is like why, what I think is like why are you having these parties? I don't know. It's, he's kind of like Gatsby then. He is right? totally uh, great Gatsby. I totally see that. Yeah. He is the great Gatsby. Read, wow. read your literature, kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Follow the green light or whatever. I hope he's does, not too he's... much like the great guy. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. Does he? Yeah. No, does he like? Great does he actually mingle with people, or does he? Did he kind of stay to himself? Like, did you tell, it was like, too how much. Many, how many people does he actually know there? Like, my so sense yeah, is no, almost none. Yeah. Almost none. Fuck that! I wouldn't people. I wouldn't have those people in my house. And exactly. it probably <laughs> cost him like at least a million bucks because he has a catered open bar, full staff. It's insane. And his house is enormous. It's yeah. like you need a full staff and security. So 
I my impression that he didn't know many of the people there. No. Wow. Because when he showed up finally, because we didn't stay for very long, all, all the people started mobbing him and like, hey, I'm just some random guy. Maybe you can hook me up mm. with some shit or whatever. Anyway, that was my impression. Regardless, I'm. this is the setting. And okay. I'm walking around. I'm just like, oh, what the? This is a wild scene. I go downstairs and there's a super bright red Mustang. It's like a collectible that he's got inside of his house. And next to this super bright red Mustang is standing Logan Paul. <laughs> and without thinking, because I thought it would be cool. Like, I just thought it would be like happy go lucky. I approach him and I says, hey, Logan, what color is that car? <laughs> <laughs> so this was, this was after the, the, the glasses. Yeah. Yeah, after this is well after. <laughs> this was well after. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> and I was like, I guess I didn't think that it would be offensive, but he, I was really surprised. He did, he was like, oh man, he's going to be pissed that I'm telling this story. <laughs> like he already hates me, whatever. He, anyway, he seems like a decent, whatever. <laughs> um, he goes, he says to me, this is the problem with podcasts. You end up talking yeah. about all this shit, yeah. but you got to embrace it. Well, just uh, tell the, the... I'm telling the story. The summarized story. I'm not summarizing. I'm already <laughs> in too deep. Anyway, it's not like that crazy. Yeah, it's not Now we're that building crazy. up. Yeah. So he goes to me and he says, I fantasized about what I'd say to you if I ever met you. <laughs> because I went to shake his hand yeah. and he and wouldn't, wouldn't shake my hand. Oh. And he was even winding up in a way that was kind of threatening and scary. What? Because he's a really yeah. big guy. Yeah, you know? he's got some muscles. He's massive. Yeah. And so he wouldn't shake my hand, and then he's like, I fantasize what I would say if I ever saw to you, yeah. if I ever ran into you. And I was like, wow, what, what was it? What, what would you say to me? Because here I am, right? <laughs> and he, uh, what was it? Something, Something about like, pubes on my face. Like you, you would start vlogging <coughs> and then put you on a spot where like, here's the guy who made fun of my disability. Mm -hmm. Something like that. And then something about I have pubes in my face. Yeah. Which is good. That's a good one. <laughs> All right. That, that hits home. That hits really close to home. I, see, that's really interesting because personally, I have no problem with Logan, like, at mm -hmm. all. Like, in fact, I've actually been on a shoot with him, and I he turned out to be, like, a wonderfully nice guy. Just kind of like a he, – he's very much of the YouTube mindset. Uh, he's a like, viner. Yeah, exactly. Like, but, he's of that mindset of, like, yeah. shoot anything, anywhere, yeah. make whatever it takes to make the video, which yeah. in, in half in my mind, I, like, I got to respect it because he's like, – Okay, he, me, he hustles hmm. for it, but uh, I don't know him personally. So I was just going to put out a disclaimer. Yeah, super hardworking guy. Yeah, I think he's talented. He's a good actor. Nothing personally against yeah. the guy. I'm not like I'm not throwing the gauntlet because yeah. he'll beat the sh he'll kill me. <laughs> I don't say a chance, man. You ever stand next to he someone? He can kill you while doing the splits. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and vlogging. He wouldn't see the <laughs> yeah while dabbing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever next to someone so massive and you're like I'm. I am helpless. If this guy just decided to kill me, he's got that going for him, at least he's, against me. Yeah. He's got that aura. He's got that going for him. <laughs> wow. So anyway. Wow. And he's a fellow but Ohio yeah. boy. Like, he's from Ohio just like me. Or right. is he from Michigan? I can't remember. We talked about that way back when. And so, like, I can't just help. He's so young, too. Yeah. Like, he's so young. That's, That's why I hate him. How old is he? That's why he's you, like, like got it. Really? You gotta kind of yeah. cut him some slack because I I said and did some really stupid shit that I'm glad like I mm. w I wasn't vlogging back Dude, then. Dude, if I yeah. had this level of success, which isn't that high, at 20, I would make a, an absolute fool of myself. Yeah. Yeah. You, well, I don't read, even think I'm capable of having success. Have you read at 20, the so. the Business Insider uh, article where they followed him around? For no. A day? What was no. what came from it? Oh. Let's, whoa, whoa, whoa! What, what did I miss? I, I Hello. Know about this, yeah. What do you got? It's just it's just really good reading. <laughs> tell me, tell me. It's good. Give me some like <laughs> tidbits. Uh, Cliff notes it. Come on. Yeah. He, I, okay. So uh, one quote was something like he said, "Yeah, I'd be cool with like mm, two to three million a year." Like he'd settle just on very that. like nonchalantly. Uh, he, there was, gosh, it was it was a whole thing. It was it, well, it follows through like a day in a day in Logan Paul's life. Yeah. And then he's he's going to an acting class where he is, you know goofing off and trying to you know he's not serious about you know whatever he's doing mm -hmm. and it's just it's good reading yeah I, I, I you found some insight into him dude it, it almost reads like a sketch <laughs> that's <laughs> funny it's, wow. it's got some real good quality stuff well man, I'm definitely gonna have to check that out yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's yeah but the the Viner phenomenon is something like they invaded YouTube yeah it's just the Viner invasion and some of them are really talented I think 
I yeah. do think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like, yeah. There's plenty of talent floating around. It's just about like, there are the ones that hustle way too hard, and they <laughs> reach high. I can never admonish someone for reaching high. Like, shoot as high as you can. Like, go as far as you want to go, but just don't be an ass about it, like, on the mm-hmm. way. And not saying, like, Logan's yeah. been an ass. Yeah. Here and there, maybe. But, like, <laughs> I just if if Logan's watching out there, hey, you're good. Oh, he is, book. and he's already I preparing agree. what he's going to say to you. <laughs> no, I agree. I, I'm fantasizing what I'm going to say to you. But, no, no, no. I was just saying. Um, <laughs> I agree. I agree. I'm, I'm good. I goofed on the guy, but, you know. He's he's okay in my book. He hasn't done anything wrong. He's not like put in a, a trump car in a, in a black neighborhood and then like had all these people come and beat it up. And yeah. then ca- he didn't different. make like people. You get what I'm saying. Oh, he's no, clearly yeah. he's clearly a very hard worker. It, yeah. And he's it's, oh, sorry. Talented. No, yeah. no, no, go it's on. just like the phenomenon. Like we we outside of our YouTube personas are all just individual people, and it's weird that a podcast setting is like the place where we all can become the most human mm. and like talk mm. about it on a real level. And like that's like the great equalizer from all of us from just stepping back and being like, "Hey, this fucking YouTube thing's kind of weird, huh? How about that?" And like, yeah. and and that's what I always marvel. And yes, there are clearly dicks <laughs> and total pricks that even outside of YouTube, they're just. A few. Clearly assholes, but there's a few. It's rarer than you'd think. Oh yeah, very just much. Just like so. a total piece of shit person. Yeah, it's really rare that someone's just a, a complete good observation. scumbag. That's true. I think that's a good. I think generally everyone wants to be like loved and appreciated and see themselves as a good person. Yeah, yeah. unless you're a sociopath. Think, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. like to to the audience's pleasure. Uh, <laughs> most people on the internet are very pleasant people. Like, there's only yeah. like a there, there's only like a couple people I've met where I'm like, oh, you're a piece of shit. But, like, everybody else, yeah. like, very, very nice. That's and I a think really it's good just, point. I think it just comes from, like, an appreciation for just what we do. And, like, we're also grateful for this thing that, that just happened to us. Like, yeah. we didn't try to make it happen. Yeah. Like, it just happened. And so we're just grateful, normal, ordinary people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not somebody that was, like, a child actor from yeah. you know, the age of five that was, you know. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if I've ever met a YouTuber who was, like, a total dick. Have we, Ela? No, it's always the opposite. Like, we always meet people, and then we're like, oh, that's, they're so nice. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Just no, a bunch of normal-ass dudes. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. I some... can't name one. Yeah. yeah. I, I The only person I've met that I wish death upon, I met in college. <laughs> I met in college. Like, I want to know about this person. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 <laughs> Would you visit them if it was their final wish? No. Nah. <laughs> nah. Can I talk, Can I hear about this guy? You don't have to say his name, but I'm oh, fascinated. He's, it's just, I think his name was Ethan. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, no yeah. wonder you look at me like I, that. I can't remember. Ethan like, Bradbury? Is yeah. Just, yeah. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> I, maybe I've yeah. built it up in my mind, but the one thing, the one thing that can really describe what made it the worst and what made me hate him like I was up until that point I was his roommate like I was his oh, roommate okay. and it, like it was it was fine whatever he was a little annoying here and there but like it was fine I was in college and we had a <laughs> class together and we were working on a group project and I group projects w- by the way bring out the worst of people <laughs> yeah. yeah so I couldn't uh, attend the group meeting that we had because at the time my stepdad is disabled and mm-hmm. at the time he was in between nursing homes we had to take care of him for a few months at home mm-hmm. and take care and care of him meant like walking him to the bathroom yeah, and giving him a sponge bath. So it was real intense. And got the it. night that they wanted to meet up, I had to take care of my dad or my stepdad. And I messaged him and I was like, hey, uh, can can I like catch up with you guys tomorrow or something? Uh, I have to take care of my stepdad. And he's just like, no, if you're not here, you don't get to be any part of the credit. And it's just like, well, oh, you're out of the group. And I'm okay, like, okay, dick. And I and at first I was like, I was like, okay, he doesn't understand the situation mm-hmm. here. So I explained it. My stepdad is disabled. I have to take care of him. Literally, mm-hmm. we have no one else. And he's just like, and then like, uh, he just came back with another like, really, really like dismissive. Super like, rude. Super rude. Like, no, no, you're just lazy. And I'm just like, wow. you don't know what lazy is. And then I got really mad at him I sent him an angry text and they just responds with LOL you mad oh and wow. from that point on he is dead to me I wish him nothing but harm and <laughs> was it someone that you had interacted with pre- yeah pre- I was his roommate oh wait before yeah, that yeah, yeah. You're, Did, wait okay crazy. I missed that he's your roommate yeah mm-hmm Wow, wow. we. Yeah. <laughs> was he? A, he wasn't a YouTuber though. He was. No, this no, was before you. Just a random person he wished death upon. Yeah, okay. he was just an engineering student with me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And that then is... he had the gall 
after I started getting popular on YouTube to send me a message on Facebook saying, hey, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, (laughs) but can you promote this thing? Can you give me a shout out? Yeah, yeah, you did that. You you probably were like, I've waited for this moment. I (laughs) thought about what I was going to say to you. (laughs) I didn't take that road. I just ignored him. Yeah, Yeah, that's the best. That's the best route. Yeah. Wow, that's it. I also have a college... I don't hate this person. I was more just like really disappointed and disillusioned in humanity. <laughs> when I was in college, I had like, this was like my best friend. And middle school and high school, we were super close. I loved this guy, man. Um, we went to college together from high school. We went to the same college. And he started drinking. And when he started drinking, he became like a completely different person. Like he was a sweet, great, wonderful friend. And he just became an absolute monster. He was the biggest fucking douchebag and a chip on his shoulder all the time. But I, I put up with it. We lived together. We lived in a house with four of us. And um, he was just a real pain in the ass. He was a nightmare, but we put up with it because we were sober. He was sweet. He drank every night. He turned into a monster. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, it came to this point. I was I was dating a really insane girl at the time. She was... I guess I didn't realize how nuts she was. She she was bipolar, and like I know previously she had like psychotic breaks. But the time I was with her, she was relatively fine. Anyway, it was my twenty first birthday. I was drinking and passed out, and then this guy I've known my whole life. He slept with my girlfriend on my twenty first birthday. Whatever. That's and like I'm like okay, whatever. I this isn't a girl I wanted to marry, and I already hated him. So I was like whatever. This is fine. Just fuck you guys. So I confront him about it, and this is when I lost my mind. He's sober, by the way, when I confront him. And I'm, I'm like, why did you do that? That's fucked up. And he goes, he says to me, if your girlfriend wasn't such a slut, then, then that wouldn't have happened. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I was oh, like, are God. you a real person? <laughs> <laughs> and that, I think that was, um, that was one of the last times I talked to him. That's like, oh. that's but like a really bad line from like, like a like a frat movie. Yeah, like a really like, bad. Like you, you'd hear that in like American Pie or something. Like he'd be the villain. And yeah. you would think it that's was... unrealistic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, exactly. It was surreal because in my mind, I'm like, I know this guy's a is an absolute piece of shit, and I hope he doesn't say something to me like that because I'm gonna lose my mind. Mm-hmm. And he and he said that shit to me. And is was... he dead now? Did you kill him? <laughs> so. um He's not dead. He did almost die, incidentally. He became addicted to cocaine and alcohol, and he almost he had, like, a hole in his lung because he almost died. He was so unhealthy. <laughs> Let me yeah. fucking shit on this guy because I don't care. I'm not going to say his name, but I'm going to shit on him. He was so unhealthy that he went to the hospital, and they said, do you have AIDS? Because he his body was so unhealthy. And so they drilled a hole in his lung that he had for, like, years. And his dad came. I went to visit him once, and his dad was like, how could you let this happen to my son? And I was like, fuck <laughs> you. I'm out of here. You should have said, well, if your son wasn't such a slut. Yeah. <laughs> In my movie scenario, yeah. that's the perfect comeback. That's, yeah. that's jo- the George Costanza perfect comeback. comeback. <laughs> yeah. Man, that shit brings back memories, boy. Uh, Anyone else? I've got a person they hate <laughs> on that level. And that's the only one I've got. I don't know yeah, he's the only one I've got that I kind of. I, I, and I don't even hate him, right? Mm-hmm. Just like, how? <laughs> how could how? I don't know. Yeah. yeah, there's nobody that I hate so much that you know <coughs> I wish death upon them. But I think I think not a lot really if, affects me anyway. <laughs> like I'm just gonna like, oh, all right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you're a dick. Okay. I'll just write you out of my life. Yeah. That's fine. Like, yeah, it's a nice know. thing, and I've been I've been working on that. It's the joys of being an adult. You don't yeah. have to put up with other people's shit. Like, yeah. if they're giving you shit, you're like, okay, well, uh, I just won't talk to you, and my <laughs> life is better for it. I think that it's it's something that people don't even think about. In a way, it's like you can just not talk to people you don't like. Mm-hmm. It's that simple. And usually, like, if you're if like. I feel like I'm like an amateur psychologist. By the way, no, no, no degree. I've never taken a psychology class, so <laughs> don't take my advice. But I feel like a lot of the times, like if if you're having like a shitty time, and you're like, why am I always like feeling like garbage? Like sometimes you just have to kind of look around mm. at who you're hanging out with, who you're associating with. Like if you're just around a bunch of fucking downers, yeah. Yeah. you're not going to be the most positive person. <coughs> That's so true. I found that to be the truth in my life, like yeah. time and time again, like. You really become the product of your environment. I found that to be true, for yeah. sure. When you hang around with a bunch of shitty people, you just act like an asshole 
or like really like when I was a kid in middle school, I was friends with like real smart, like ambitious kids. And that was like I was like a great student at that time. And when I went to high school, I was hanging out with like stoners and I became a piece of shit. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. It's real. Amateur philosophy alert. Mm -hmm. There you go. What else? Oh, um, got notes. Did you guys know that all the Viners live in Hollywood? Yeah, in Hollywood building, and Vine, right? Or on no, a street uh, called Vine. Yeah, oh, way, Sunset, Sunset and Vine, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. live on a street called Vine, all the Viners, in the same building. No. Yeah, yes. it's, I don't true. Believe it's true. It's true. It's true. I swear to you. I think they're slowly starting to, like, it up. <laughs> to spread out yeah. now that they have, you know, now that probably a lot name. of money yeah, to, all rich to buy a mansion. But, Although uh, it's not cheap there. Yo, no, not at all. But the the greatest Marcus part is Marcus don't disbelieve. Yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> I'm oh, yeah. telling no, you, they, they almost real. made a show out of it. Really? They almost made a show. It was like Rain Wilson There's was going like, to produce it or whatever. Rain Wilson, my god. Yeah. Did you know? It fell all through the though because uh, one of the uh, viners was accused of uh, rape. Little rape. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> little little yeah. rape. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, yeah, you can. Well, I, actually, he still he still has a successful. Who is it? Uh, well, you're not accusing right. him. No, no, yeah, he was accused. I think he, I think he settled out. It was like it was a rape accusation from his girlfriend. Uh, Who was this guy it? Curtis Lepore? Oh, I don't know. That. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me look, yeah. Let me it happened uh, several years ago, but but there was a time I think where where it was like all his comments were like rapist, rapist, and then he had to like you know block everybody, <laughs> but. Uh. But I think he's doing fine now. But yeah, the 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 place where all the miners live. Uh, the greatest part is whenever you drive by there, you will, at least for a long period of time, you always see a person on a hoverboard. Oh, like, I remember. Really, like, <laughs> always like around that block, you would always see like two like fuck boys on hoverboards, like yeah. just just riding down the oh, street. Must and be like, Vine oh, Street. Yep. yep. Oh, that's, that's so cool. Yeah, I love. Uh, well, I don't love VidCon. Uh, no, no offense to anybody like that runs VidCon. Like I, I love VidCon for a certain reason, but uh, one of the weirdest things about VidCon is seeing like the perpetuation of that side of YouTube come across exponentially more than any other place. What the hoverboard part? Uh, like, like the Viners coming in, or like mm. that style of videos, and like those. Mm. those oh, videos. I thought you were talking about rape stuff. Well, that, <laughs> maybe. That, cause I've, yeah, because I've heard Uh-oh. stuff. Yeah. Really? Wait. What? I, Let's I don't know go. About, Ian's no, got no, the I details. I don't know. Any, I don't know any specific people, I, but yeah. I, but I heard like, yeah, you know, there's people with impressionable fans that show up to these things. Yeah, if you were a real scumbag, you could do some weird, frankly, and horrible I would things. not doubt it. Like, I yeah, have I no knowledge that. of anything happening, but just like it's the circumstances to create like very horrible, bad horrible. If things, you're yeah. Just, yeah, if you're a shitty person, you have the ability to control very impressionable people. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. VidCon. I, right. this shit, year, I feel like I keep yeah. bringing it down no, 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 <laughs> to like yeah, depressing yeah. stuff. Like, are you guys going it. to VidCon? Yeah, this I've never been there. Yeah. This is my first, our first yeah. year. Ooh. Are you going? Ooh, I've never been there. I don't know why. Well, well I guess yeah. probably because nobody wanted us there. Yeah, we were <laughs> so never invited. Like, oh. I only went there after they started doing the heavy security stuff and like separating the YouTubers like very, very stringently. Right. Mm. Uh, last time I was there, I was there on stage in the middle of the floor with uh, Jack Septiguy. And uh, we just got done. Oh, you okay? No, I just I'm just picturing it right now. <laughs> you picture you Jack, and you're yeah. like, oh, that oh, that too. I mean, yeah, that hey, luscious but hair. It, we, yeah, we were in the middle in a booth, and then we had to get back behind the back curtains, and it was like a 200 yard mm. like dash, and it was chaos. I've never wow. like I <laughs> was it scary? It was horrifying. Wow, <laughs> like I don't. I've never considered myself to be like a celebrity or anything like that. But in that moment, at VidCon, in the moment was the first time I ever realized, like, oh my god, am I a celebrity? Scary. And then like, oh my god, I'm a celebrity. I have to run. <laughs> like, just run. We had to run, and yeah. there were security guards that were like shoving Holy little Jesus. kids, and like they You're were Beyonce. knocking down fences. How does it feel to be Beyonce? It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Good God. And like literally, that part's kid- probably bad, but all the other parts are great. Yeah. <sighs> I kids were climbing on fences like and the just money. falling like zombies in World War Z. Just like, <laughs> no, it really, it really is like that. Because I remember, like, like whenever like one fan would like spot a YouTuber, mm. they would scream, and then suddenly that one YouTuber, that one fan, it's like a zombie calling to his friends. Yeah, <laughs> and then it's really like you will literally see a shifting mass of like <laughs> preteens and teenagers screaming. Is that running the demo? Towards just teenagers person. at VidCon? It's Pretty much, mostly, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but I got a, I got a like we we did a meet and greet uh, last year, and I got a lot of vape niche 
Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Really? A, lot of, a lot of kids wanted to do the vape niche Rip for the photo. Niche, so. <laughs> oh, no. Somehow that's, that's just funny. like the photo pose that yeah. became yeah. like the, the default photo yeah. pose. The meet and greets are nice, though. I love the meet and greets. Yeah. Uh, there was this one girl during a meet and greet that got a little too enthusiastic. She didn't know her strength. She tackled me oh, for a wow. hug. Oh, wow. Did you and, fall to the ground? Oh, um, later I did because mm. I like, and, and it's totally fine. If you're, if you're watching this, <laughs> it was fine. I, I was fine. It was lovely. Hug a little softer next time. But she elbow into my gut like just, or shoulder into my gut just bam I felt my back pop and it was oh like and then it was just like I have to lay down and then I just laid down nice on the ground for like you. five minutes like hello thank you can someone give me painkillers but I finished that meet and greet wow, wow. I sure did but yeah it, the meet and greets are cool and the panels are really cool we got a sense of that in Sweden we did our first fan yeah. meet up and that was nuts that was I saw really the chaotic. photos that was yeah, insane that was crazy. it was pretty nuts we had that moment where we were trying to escape out the back and people came around the back and it was like kind of like this moment you describe where you're like trying to push through a crowd to a taxi and it's a little freaky. Yeah. And then yeah. when we took off, people were like chasing the car. At first, we thought the we knew that there were still people waiting outside, so mm. we thought we'll just leave and kind of talk to them on the way out and just walk ha. back. Mm. And it was so not the case. People were throwing <laughs> Pepsi cans at us and shit. Wait, what? Like what? legitimately throwing Pepsi. Like they were like, "Don't leave," so they got like pissed <coughs> off. No, because they brought it no, with they, them. Well, one of our old memes is like about Pepsi Max. Got it. Oh, yeah. So they brought yeah. Pepsi Max cans, and then they were throwing it at us, and we're like, this is nice, but unsafe. <laughs> yeah. Like full cans? Yeah, full cans. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Like, it was a lovingly I, log. I ended kind of. up catching one, but nice, like, what Ella. if it hit here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was def- Jesus. <laughs> but you, you probably had some really weird fan reaction, like, interactions, I feel like, because you have some pretty, like, your fans are involved, boy. Yeah, I, I'm really lucky to have like a really dedicated, really, really enthusiastic fan base. Um, uh, as far as like weird interaction goes, thankfully I haven't had too many like really? close encounters. Right. Um, but I, the weirdest is always just people that treat me like a god and mm. like uh. want to be around me at all times. Um, and, and, but that's as weird as it gets. It's usually just a conversation where like, hey, I want to. To be alone now. Can you yeah. can you please leave me alone? But everything else has been sweet. I seen in the comments that your fa- some of your fans get like really nasty to your girlfriend. Yeah, that's yeah. just a byproduct of like having a relationship on the internet. Yeah. It's it's just that's like, gross. Uh, but I what, guess huh, no. Continue. I was just say we never have that. We start together, but also nobody wants to fuck me. <laughs> oh, Ethan. <laughs> Which, by the way, you don't need to cover me. I've confronted this fact long ago, boy. I'm at peace with my un- with my with my n- n- non sex appeal. Trust me. I'm gonna be a hot little twink though by the, by the end of this year. Yeah, you getting in shape? Like, I'm trying to get some food out of me. Yeah. <laughs> try, try, and this is me not advertising it. Like, I like this is, but try keto. Yeah. Like, I swear. Basically, no carbs. Exactly. High fat, no carbs. Is the high fat, like, is that important? Yeah, that's part of it. Because, okay, this is where I'm going to get real sciencey about it. Keto stands for ketogenesis. Ketogenesis is your body's... Sounds biblical. It almost is. (laughs) So, ketogenesis is your body's natural ability to break down fats through ketones, which are proteins that are specifically designed by your body to break Mm. down fats. And uh, it's... it's, uh, When you only eat fats and you get the majority of your calories from fat, and you get protein as well, just to keep your muscles up. Your body gets used to producing ketone bodies and breaking down fat. So mm. when you don't eat, especially when you sleep, you have ketones thro- throughout your system and you just basically run off fat. Mm. You're training your body to run off fat. Now, I wouldn't recommend this for everybody because it sucks. It mm. sucks, it's awful, I hated every second of it, I'm not doing it anymore, because frankly, mm. I lost too much weight too fast. I lost really? like 10 pounds in two weeks. And I don't have that much weight to lose. Mm-hmm. So I stopped it because it was crazy, but mm. it works. So uh, whenever I'm trying to lose weight, I definitely cut out the carbs, but I've never done like the fat, the aggressive fat part. Mm-hmm. But carbs, when you cut out carbs, it's it's crazy. It's yeah. not a day. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Oh, Those yeah. carbs will get you, boy. Yeah. Absolutely. It's so hard, though. It is hard. <laughs> it's bread. So hard. It sucks so much. Bread like, and you pasta. don't realize how much uh, pasta uh, I don't give a shit about, but like, what? Bread. Come on. I don't like pasta. I, I don't like pasta. I, it's I boring. Love okay. Pasta. Uh, you, even, I get How do you even deal with this guy? I know. All he wants is a burger and pizza. And uh, I'm well, like, I can't handle that. That's practically, pizza is practically pasta. It's just fluffy. It's better. Pasta is boring as fuck and it's not worth the calories. Let me break it down. What kind of pasta are you eating? Just like butter noodles? No, I don't like any of it. Pasta is like slimy, flavorless noodle. Wrong. What about lasagna? <laughs> lasagna I get down with. That's a but I would never pasta. order it at a restaurant. You lived in New York. I'm sure there was like good pasta there, right? Yeah. 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 
There is. Right. It would still order a pizza. Right. Yeah, that. pizza. Italian Why would you get a pasta when we you have tried a beautiful, you. We tried. perfect Thank pizza you. pie? You got bread, <laughs> sauce, cheese, and the perfect proportion. All right. There's no winning here, guys. Just <laughs> yeah. hurt feelings. All right. Pizza's the hard one, man. Pizza? Eli doesn't like pizza, and it freaks me out. Okay, what? <laughs> like, you guys, like, right, like, like, either of you guys are human. That's oh. what I've been convinced with. Pa- not liking pasta well, seems like I more like, of a preference, but I think it's a product of Ethan eating too much pizza that I start not to like it. I I like it sometimes. Explaining why? Like I'm once a f- once in a few months. This is gonna sound like a really ignorant question, but was there a lot of pizza in Israel? Yes, so oh, there like, is. I didn't Someone know if it was actually. Wasn't in- I had my favorite pizza in Israel, and I still think it's the best one. I do too. In Florentine, in Tel Aviv. Yeah, oh my goodness, man! It's the best. There's this one. place in this weird little shithole neighborhood. You would never expect it, right? I've tra- I've been to New York. <laughs> 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 I've been to Europe. I've been all around the globe. Pizza everywhere, the same. Go to this place in Florentine. What's it called, Ila? Um. What is it called? <laughs> Whatever. It's like never You'll open. You'll take us there sometime. It's, the, it's this rare kind of place yeah. where it's like, it's never open. You go there, they're closed. They open sometimes. It's like 3 a.m. It's oh, run by Giuseppe. this. Giuseppe. Giuseppe. <laughs> it's run by this old guy. He has a motorcycle. It's a weird place, but whenever they're open, there's a line out the door. They have this, they have like this <clears throat> butter pesto that they brush on the crust. Oh, super yeah. thin. And they get it to this point where, you know, in Brooklyn, they make this thin pizza and it's like a, it's like a noodle. I'm yeah. not. Fuck that shit. This guy's got that thin, crispy. Okay. It's got Ooh. integrity. Oh, okay? Yeah. And they have this insane, like, garlic pesto brush. And he uses a paintbrush. And you see him, and you're like, oh, fuck, boy. And I mean, we, we use that shit at Chuck E. Cheese. It's oh. not really that special. <laughs> no, but in the hand of an artist, you can tell. You're it's talking the, about Picasso. It's you're, this old oh, guy, yeah. too, and he's, like, he's got the coolest motorcycle. It's really funny. Yeah. Like, oh, old you, guy with his motorcycle wild. outside. God, you guys are killing me. I have not eaten today. Let's get a pizza. I haven't had a chance to eat today. I'm, I'm, Oh my god. We all gotta get some. We, let's just fucking go there right now. Giuseppe's. Get on the plane. Let's go. Giuseppe's. <laughs> Israel. All right, let's do it. Man. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're like, you're like in deep thought about this pizza right now. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta end this podcast now. Yeah. This has been too much. Um, is there anything else left to talk about, you guys? No, it's t- always tons of stuff. But... What else? <laughs> I hate talking about myself, so I'm totally. Tell I'm me totally about yourself. Here. Mark is starting a tour. Yeah, right? I'll, I'll oh yeah, that. yeah, we're doing a tour. I that's actually what we just came from. Uh, actually, I just came <laughs> from this. I was taking improv lessons from uh, uh, Ninja Brian's wife, who is Rachel Wecht. Uh, she's the funniest person I've ever met in my life. Wow. She's unbelievably hilarious and a great teacher of improv. Hmm. And uh, so we're doing a tour just this summer. And uh, I'm, I'm not trying to promote it, see it or not. I, I, don't, I don't care. Like, uh, it's, it's going to be good or bad, but it's going to be fun. Like, yeah. And that was the whole point of it. Like, we wanted to have fun with a tour, and we wanted to create a show that was like something that's actually a little, like, spectacular. Hmm. Like, a little higher production quality. Right. And something that's uh, going to be it's really fun. fun. It's fun. Get out there and meet your fans yeah. and get put on a little show. Yeah. It's cool. And, and exercises. I've been practicing improv for, like, a year and a half, and I have no idea if I'm actually funnier. So, because when you're practicing <coughs> and you're in a room, with your other friends that don't laugh at your jokes, it gets mm-hmm. bad. Oh, you feel. I have that problem with you. I mean, like, you're not supposed to like anymore. be mm-hmm. funny with improv, right? Right, and that's the Why? thing. But what? Th- then you try too hard. Yeah, you're not trying to go oh. for the joke in improv. You're trying to make funniness out of like reality or whatever it is. Huh. It's all bullshit. But you know, <laughs> it's it's. But when you're just doing improv with your friends, very few people are laughing. So having that crowd there, like, just to. Either be totally silent and I'll be like, okay, I'm not funny. I get it. All right, never doing this again. That's not going to happen. Or Dude, they're going to laugh. Just they're gonna laugh anyway. Yeah, they're going to laugh. Like, whether it's through they're pity or they actually yeah. enjoy it, they're going to... They're just gonna enjoy seeing you there. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. like it's just a, you being there will it's be enough for sell. a lot of people. You could do like we did at the beginning of this podcast yeah. and just stare at the camera <laughs> for an hour and a half, and they'll just be like, yeah, yeah, that would be, that would be nice. That should be really fun, though. I hope so. Like, it's uh, yeah. really the whole reason was for me to uh, like have fun and go on a tour with my friends mm-hmm. and work with my my friends from Cincinnati that were there with me since the beginning of my channel. Mm. Like they were there helping me on this small series that I did back when I could drink called mm-hmm. Drunk Minecraft. Mm-hmm. And it was just really fun to remember mm. why we started making videos was yeah. just for fun. Right. Like for no right. other reason than doing That's fun. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, we, so we're also planning to do a live tour, incidentally, with the same oh, people. Yeah. They mentioned they're working with you. Oh. Right Angle, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Right Angle, yeah. yeah. Seem like nice people. They're pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. I mean, I've never seen some. anyone else. I, I have no judgment. Just like well, Logan I'm Paul, kidding. you're good in my book. <laughs> so it's just like, it's Well, it's fun. just this thing where the agent recommended them. I'm like, okay, well, if you say so. Yeah. They, they've done right by me so far. That's cool. what I can say for them. Yeah. 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 Um, the chat is asking if anyone here has got a ghost story. Oh my God! <laughs> last on our last ghost episode story. with uh, Filthy Frank and Post Malone, we got into this crazy ghost story. Yeah. And I'm very skeptical. I don't have any close encounters with ghosts, but Post and and George had some wild ghost stories. It yeah. spooked everyone silly. Do you guys have any ghost stories? That's got to be like the thing we ask yeah. all of our guests now. Yeah. Uh, Do you believe in ghosts, first of all? No. Let's start high level. No. no. I don't either. Do you? Ghost. I didn't until... Oh. Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got good ghost stories. I, I love it. Until a friend of mine um, sees a lot of them. Okay. He's like, like, the, he's like the Bruce Willis just kid. Yeah, and, and it's... That was the worst reference ever. And it's like... <laughs> yeah. It's... It's... It's fucking creepy. And, like, obviously, uh, they don't enjoy it mm. because it's very unsettling. And sometimes they say, like, they see just, like... Sometimes they'll just see, like, a part of a person. Whoa. Or it'll be a shadow. But there's one specific <laughs> one... Let's go. ...that... Uh, so they lived near a really old cemetery like really old because they're they're not from uh california so you know cemeteries they go back several hundred years uh and uh they they were in their bed and they saw this bright light and they look out the window and there's this child just standing in the driveway like wearing these like old like like old timey clothes like 1800s clothes maybe like early 1900s clothes and then just like, and then the kid just like looked up at them and they were like, fuck that shit and just like closed the blinds. What? That's crazy. Same time. No. Next, the, the next no. year, same date. Same exact time? What? Uh, happened again. <clears throat> same kid. What? Do you remember the date? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> we could do some research. But, uh. they, but they were, but they're saying like, yeah, and sometimes they, they'll appear like during during like certain times of the day like there's more during this certain time of the night she's the kid from the sixth sense yeah (laughs) Yeah. or the person (laughs) yeah i was like do you ever do you ever like talk to them fuck no like you don't want to invite that but i never i never believed i never believed in it before but then like you see the passion and conviction yeah See, that's the thing that trips me out like i've never had an encounter yeah but i see how passionate and convicted people are about it but I, I kind of do want to have an encounter. Yeah. Because it, it would really bend my whole understanding of the world. Yeah, I've got true. one thing. It's not really a ghost thing, but it's just something that I, I could never really explain. Hmm. Um, it was when I was a, a child. So it might have just been the mind of a child. You know, I have one thing like things. that as well. I, I was I was sleeping. You know, I was, I was dreaming. Yeah. And up until that point, it, what's weird is that my dreams were never that incredible. I had a lot of waking dreams. I have a lot of waking nightmares to this day. Like, mm-hmm. I have waking nightmares, like, once a week. Um, mm-hmm. And a lot of nightmares. You mean, general. like, what is waking nightmares? Waking nightmares is when you feel like you're trapped in your body. A sleep you, paralysis? Yeah, sleep paralysis. Oh, I have that, too. It's yeah. a, nightma- it's a yeah, nightmare. And then <laughs> shadow, people, shadow people in the doorway sort of thing. Like, oh, my goodness. When I was a kid, I was having this dream that somehow instantly, like a switch got flipped, and all of a sudden, I was being chased. I didn't know how, I didn't know why, I was being chased, and I just ran. Like, mm. it was a perfectly normal dream. And then I turned around and looked, and there was this huge lumbering guy with a chainsaw, like, just chasing after me, and I knew he was gonna kill me and cut me up. So, dream, whatever, I wake up, totally fine, and I, uh, I look up above my bed, and I just see his face. Oh! Clear as the dream face no. floating in the sky. Pull the covers over my head. Oh. I can't see it when it's un- my co- when I'm under the covers. I can't see it. Not there. Blinking eyes. Not close my eyes. Not there. Pull the sheets down. Still there. No. Looming over Spook me. stories with Markiplier. Looming over me. So I I've had stuff like that where I wake up from a dream and then I see stuff, and my theory on that is that like when you wake up. 
you still have like that residual dream chemicals in your brain. Yeah. So you're capable of like really intense hallucinations mm -hmm. for like a short window after you wake up yeah. or even before you're about to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. It's true. Sometimes I'll wake up and then I like grab my phone or something and then I'll kind of remember something that wasn't true, you know? Like, yeah. Like yeah. you were kind of, kind of, I don't know. You're just out of it. Yeah, you're yeah. still out of it. You're not completely awake. There's like a Maybe. couple, there's like a couple other stories that, that I have from other people too because, I just because hear of like, Spook yeah. Story, uh, yeah. Uh, so like, because our movie, our YouTube Red <laughs> movie was like a ghost mm -hmm. kind of movie. So like, I just, offhandedly asked some people in the crew like oh do you guys have any ghost stories mm -hmm. and like one person they saw uh on two so like on two separate occasions they saw the per like it was like their mom like uh, they like woke up and their mom was like floating above them well had her mom passed at that time like literally like right before like she saw Whoa. them and then they got a call that same thing happened <gasps> to their friend before Whoa. they got the call yeah Oh my no. goodness! Whoa. Like spooky ass shit. And then there's Pat. another. Yeah. Ooh. Then there's another one. That's a um, weird one. This one wasn't a ghost thing. I've got, but I've got the goose pimples. Yeah, it's super creepy. It. Did I say that right? Yeah, it's one bumps. of the ways. Goose but they bumps. said like the the person was like staring down. And they looked very like content, and they said that that was like that was like actually like strangely calming for them. Huh. Huh. But uh, but then this other one, um, Shane, who's a, a guy in our cast, um, when he was two. Uh, so he doesn't remember any of this stuff, but basically he fell into a pool and he was drowning and he was actually pronounced dead for a couple minutes. Right. Well, um, I don't get that. How can you die? You don't, you don't, you don't. I know I've heard that all the time. People are like, oh yeah, I died for five minutes. You can't die. You don't die for Well, your heart dead. stops. Yeah. Well, you're technically death, dead. I guess. Death is a very strange definition. Death means yeah. see ya. <laughs> like Not if you but if your heart stops, that just means your heart stopped. There's a difference, right? There's, there's stages of death. Like there's death to where the point the body cannot be sustained. There's brain death. There's cell death. There's like after you die. So death the does you. not mean your smell you later. Hmm, well, always. I mean, okay. Because that's mean, how I think about. Typically, it. if your heart stops, then the blood blood stops flowing to your brain, and then you die after your, like a few minutes. So your you brain die. dies. Yeah, but you die. your body carries on for a little bit, just a little. Like bit. brain activity. That's no, what I mean. not like brain. Your, like the rest of your body. Just the, everything keeps hmm. ticking. Yeah. Well, anyway, anyway, so he, he fell in yeah. he Smell fell into this uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he fell into the pool. He was drowning. His parents were having an argument or something in the house. They were like in a I think they're maybe like um an apartment complex, so there's like a pool in the middle or something like that. Anyway, they're having an argument and mid argument, the mom hears a voice like shout his name Whoa. and she just drops everything and runs out to the pool and sees him, like drowning. So there was, but there was nobody else there. Like they were talking and she heard a voice shout his name. And then what? she knew that something was wrong and then she ran out there. Ooh. That's crazy. That's nuts. Spooky. I wish, I really wish that I could, I could have a personal experience. Cause I feel like I'm such a skeptical person. Yeah. Me too. About religion and about ghosts and all this shit. It really like blow my brain if I ever encounter something like that. Yeah. Although I wonder who knows if it's ghosts or if it's like people are like, well, you know, like you die, but then there's still like energy or, mm -hmm. you know, who knows? Who knows what exactly it is? Yeah. My thing. <sighs> it's something. I don't know. I feel I, like I, 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 we don't. I, I think that we don't know everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Me so. too. Yeah. By, by any means. That's true. But I feel like I would think that I was going crazy. I feel like I would blame myself before I'd be like, oh, ghosts. Do you right. relate to that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like your brain's faulty. You're hallucinating. Like, yeah. I, I'm a doubter myself. Like I would just, I was like, be like, oh, what's going on here? Come on <laughs> yeah. now. Who's got the machine? What's right. That? Right. Yeah. So uh, I, I would love to have like a real encounter with a ghost. I would love to. Yeah. Yeah. Convince me. <laughs> Convince me, ghosts. Me, me and <laughs> please. Me and uh, Austin Post Malone were talking about because he's like a real true believer, and so we want to go. Does he see him? He's had some, he had some great stories. Yeah, he had some stories. Yeah, he's personally has some really great stories that he shared with us. We want to go to like a spook, like a haunted spook house. Like and, a real like, one, though. And see not what's a... up. See, I feel like a lot of times those are bullshit, though. It has to be, right? And all those ghost shows, I feel like most of those are bullshit because they just have to force something for the show. You can't plan that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Most likely. Yeah. Yeah, because one of the guys on, on our Smosh Games channel, he was, he was a paranormal, paranormal investigator. 
So he like actually what, like that's went like in. his moonlighting job. That's what he did back before like oh, the oh, internet wow. stuff. So he he would be like the guy with like the <coughs> machine that would like read the electromagnetic 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 <laughs> wow electromagnetic <laughs> fields. There you go. Yeah. Uh, the, sp- the spook signal. And he said that most of the time there was nothing. <laughs> right. But then there was like some other times where it was like, oh no, like some shit's like, so there's some weird shit. Huh. But he's, hmm. oh fuck, then he also has fucking ghost stories too. <laughs> like in his, in his apartment. Yeah. Like just like they saw a guy in their closet. Right. What? And just like <laughs> what weird just stuff. Like just a, a guy in his closet? <laughs> okay, yeah. can I, is it a, okay. The people who believe in ghosts see them, it seems like, all the time. Like, I have so many ghost stories. They're in my closet. They're in my car. It's him, both him and his girlfriend. The corroborated it. story. Yeah. Like, there was a time, it wasn't even, they didn't see anything. It was, like, this chain on their fan. Like, it was just sitting there, and then suddenly it was like, <laughs> like somebody hit it. <laughs> but do you see what I mean? It's, it's like, like <laughs> do you see, it's like the same people seeing all the ghosts. Mm-hmm. And meanwhile, none of us, I've ever seen ghosts personally, mm. but it's right. the people, the same people seeing all the ghosts. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe some people have a sense for it. I don't know. It's a sense thing. Or they have a sense. A sixth sense. Shall like we say? Sense for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I'm waiting for my for my first encounter. I'm open to it. Yeah. yeah, I'm not really actually. I'm really not open to it at all. I would fight it. I think it'd be pretty spooky. Fight a ghost. I, well, I'd be like, I'm insane. I have oh. no interest in seeing a ghost. No, yeah, I have yeah, no interest. Because in so what are you gonna do? Yeah. You're just gonna freak the fuck out and then hope it goes away. Well, my my main problem with ghosts is the idea that all of these dead people, the billions and trillions of dead people, are just hanging around in the same space. Just right. the sheer density of right. what that is. And it's only of people in the most recent period. Like, where are the ancient ghosts? Where's the, like, B.C. ghosts? Where are where the all B.C. Them? ghosts at? Yeah. Where are the cavemen ghosts? <laughs> yeah. But there have been... There have been Maybe s- they're trapped in their own time period. <laughs> that doesn't make any time sense. Time doesn't move when you're a ghost. <laughs> What? Time? <laughs> t- okay. Oh, I don't know why I'm defending it. Like, I don't even believe in this shit. Well, it's like time Time is a... It's a... Per- like, we don't perceive time... Like, we see it as a line, but really it could be where you can live in every moment simultaneously if you perceive it as, like, a fourth dimension. Like, we see space. Mm-hmm. So it's possible that the ghost lives in its own dimension of time. That is... <laughs> a thing that someone could say and that would be an idea. <laughs> there you go. Um, You've officially lost me. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I get what you're saying, yeah. But it's just like, it's from a general general standpoint, I, uh, I I totally agree that we, like, we would be ignorant to say that we knew everything. <laughs> I, yeah, Anyone course, would be ignorant course, to say that they knew everything. But also at the same time, it's just like, we have some logic and we have some ability to understand the the what happens in the universe like to some extent that maybe ghosts eh, maybe not but yeah mm-hmm. i won't eliminate it yeah yeah i, I feel, feel like if way. there's so many people that have seen it like there's like well, it's, it's not like, like it's you, not like everybody's crazy you know what mm-hmm. i mean like i've never seen one but yeah, I don't know. It doesn't hurt me for other people to believe in ghosts. Right. So I'll I right. love totally the debate. Fine. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like for example, I I'm like agnostic about God. Do you believe in God? Uh because <laughs> yeah, like way more people believe in God than ghosts. Yeah, right. But these are of course a lot of people have visions of of Jesus and everything too. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm saying like, well, if people see visions of ghosts, I mean, I guess it's not really too too different from what people have seen. Like when they say like, oh, like God came to me last night or whatever, mm-hmm. you know. It's so just, who knows? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I just feel like people people search for answers uh, for everything they see in, in our lives because in the end we are walking bags of meat. Uh, and but you know we 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 try to rationalize everything that we see, and yeah. so it, people find comfort in answers. Like yeah, they want definitely. answers. And, and yeah, depending it's on a nice thought. Answers, if yeah. you're, if someone you loved passed away, it'd be nice to be like, hey, they're out there and they're trying to tell me what up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So whatever <laughs> people find comfort in, so long as it doesn't hurt anybody else, like yeah. I'm fall for that. Like, yeah. go for it. I yeah. do have one story. Oh, I do believe in ghosts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I was a kid, I don't know if it was a ghost. It may have actually just been a really creepy thing that really happened. I was laying in bed, 
and right across from my room there's a window with a curtain and I usually close the curtains but on this day it was it was open it was about 5 a.m. the dawn had broken it was just a little light out and I like I'm opening my eyes and I see a fucking face in the window staring at me and it's like a real creepy face it's not like a normal man's face it's like a Freddy Cougar kind of uh, <laughs> Jason face and it's just staring at me peeking in and I my heart starts racing I'm freaking out and then it that whatever it just walks off. Huh. <laughs> creepy. It could have actually just been some really <laughs> yeah, creepy guy. Guy. Yeah, like yeah. that's the thing. Like <laughs> it's not paranormal. <laughs> it maybe. could have actually just been Jason. Yeah. 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 He's We're like, just, nah, not worth my time. Some, some, this kid's not going anywhere. Some <laughs> ugly guy that was just like, is that human contact? Uh, <laughs> I wish I had your good looks, Ethan. And then six-year-old Ethan. Off. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is when you were six. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, saying. I want to fuck that kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <sighs> I guess we can wrap it up. How do you guys feel? I feel good. good. Yeah, I feel good. <laughs> it was a good exploration of a lot of issues. I think we covered a lot of ground. Yeah. Logan, it was Paul, a great... and Ghosts. It's Logan, my two favorite yeah. subjects. <laughs> and <laughs> little Joey Salad, sprinkle in there for good oh, yeah, measure. Yeah, yeah. It was really great having you guys. It was a lot of fun. Thanks yeah. for having us yeah. awesome. on. Yeah. I genuinely respect you guys both a lot and appreciate you both a lot. And oh, I, thanks Ethan. for coming and joining us, really. You guys oh, are awesome. Thanks, I, I really love what you guys do. And I'm really, really happy that you got this whole like studio set up here. This is really cool. This is better thanks, than man. any live stream production that I've ever done. Yeah. No, Thanks, man. I have to say, I'm I'm Thanks. so glad that that you guys, you know, found this from just your uh, that's a ten video. That's a ten, <laughs> huh? Humble yeah. beginning. Oh yeah. man, I good times. Love, I still to this day I'll rewatch that a few times. Thank you. <laughs> it's so good. You guys are awesome. <laughs> that was like I had that was that weird realization. <coughs> Sorry, I don't want to continue. Let's go. No, yeah. by but it was just that was just like a Run weird realization, national. like years later, when I was like. Wait a second. Holy fuck. That's <laughs> Ethan? That was the same yeah. way. Same yeah. thing I did. Yeah. That's I, awesome. I sampled that video uh, without realizing That's it was awesome. you. That's and then awesome. I, was, I was going back to credit and I was like, Oh, oh, no. <laughs> no, that's so cool. Well, a, back in the day, a lot day, of people tell us that it's so funny. I think it's super cool. I mean, Quality meme. It's like I had two lives, separate lives that were both like meme, memeful. <laughs> it's really cool. We used to make just video edits. But we're like, this is really fun, and it's artistic, and I enjoy doing it. Mm -hmm. But people just, they come and they go. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys had no idea it was us, and I don't blame you because it's very transient. It's like, that was a fun experience. Now I'm not going to stick around and see what else is there. Yeah. So we realized we had to make live-action stuff. We had to do something with, like, some personality. Yeah. And so we stopped doing that because mm -hmm. we realized that people were not remembering who we are. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's kind of a proof of concept. You yeah. guys didn't know. Yeah, the, <laughs> the humor was there, like, from the get-go, as expressed in that video. And then I'm just really proud to see you guys <laughs> Thanks, flourish Thanks. out of there. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. It's, it's, it's <laughs> dope. It's sick. And I was watching your shit back then. You're the, oh God. You are, like, the godfather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ten years? How long has it been? Ten? Uh, Eleven and a half. God yeah. damn. Wow. Eleven and a half. I know. Wait, how, how old were you when you started? You were, wait, how old are you? I was seven I was seventeen. Seventeen? That's then, crazy. Yeah. Wow, yeah. So we, was, uh, wow. Wow. People weren't even making money on YouTube back then, right? No, no. We yeah. were we were um packaging our own shirts and mailing them out ourselves. That was wow. our one source of revenue was was our crappy, like screen printed Shirts that we had made by a guy with one leg in a warehouse down the street. Was he a ghost? <laughs> he was not. Yeah, a he ghost. was a ghost. <laughs> but uh, uh, that's, yeah. that's so crazy to even think about because when I think of like um, my brother, he's been doing a web comic for I think nearly fourteen years now. Holy smokes! Really? And uh, when I think of like people that have the longevity of that and maintaining that, and my brother still to this day is cranking out higher and higher quality comics every single time mm. on his own. What is it? It's called Two Kinds. Uh, it's this webcomic that he's been running for a while. It's, uh, uh, how do I describe it even? It's, it's spelled T T W O K I N D. Yes, yeah, pretty Two much. Times. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, but I just, I just really respect like the work to put in, and and especially like on YouTube, the harsh field of YouTube. So many ups yeah. and downs. Yeah, yeah uh, the ups and downs. Yeah. I've only been like today is my five year anniversary oh, yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, congrats. Totally forgot to mention that. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, uh, it's just crazy to imagine. I've been doing it less than half the time. You've and it been feels doing like it. forever, right? Yeah, and I we insane. yeah I yeah feel we've the same way. we've seen people through like from like middle school to to graduating high school. It's like weird <laughs> stuff like that. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. And it's really wild to really grow up with your fans, like, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and also, like, it's also, like, 
you know, you guys obviously, I'm sure, deal with it. But it's like, oh, I miss, I miss the old thing. Yeah. Like, We've been dealing with that shit for ten years. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like, as soon as you get one year old, look, like, I miss the old one. With yeah. The cam. Where's I, that? You can tell we're new on YouTube because we just started getting it about like six months ago. Congratulations. Yeah. That's, that's a no, milestone. You get that one? Oh, all the time. Yeah. 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 But it's cyclical. So like, I'll, people will be like, oh, he's getting back to the old one, and then the people that like the old one were like, oh, no, I don't like. This. Yeah. yeah. No, everyone's. Like, Angry. Fifty yeah. percent of the people yeah. are always angry. Yeah. yeah, you just gotta do. And what they cite you very know. specific like videos where it began and ended <laughs> yeah. being good. Something yeah. happened. Yeah, or like very specific things. Like 2014, 2015, Smosh was the best. Yeah, <laughs> but then in 2014, everybody's like, "This shit, man." <laughs> the 2008 Smosh was legit. <laughs> the weird thing yeah. about when I think about like, oh, I miss the old Ethan meme is like. It's almost like, no, you don't. Like, those videos weren't good. And, like, if I tried to recreate them, which we have done, they just feel bad. Well, that's when bad. you know that you're evolving your content. When you look back and you're like, oh, that's garbage now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. People are just complaining on the on YouTube, man. Everything I made was gold. <laughs> Mark's like, <laughs> fuck I look back at my old videos like, oh, yeah, that's good <laughs> stuff. Just sit there just like, yeah. That's what I do. I watch my old videos. Actually, that's a fact. I go back and I watch my old videos because I I, I like to I, I like to look back on what worked and what didn't work, mm. and what, it keeps mm-hmm. me grounded in terms of like going forward and making content. So mm-hmm. like, uh, but yeah, it's all gold. I'm great and I'm the best. So. Some, but but seriously, sometimes I do watch the old videos too, and I'm like, man, I feel like I was way funnier then. Yeah. That's well, kind of depressing too. I mean, it's yeah. a nostalgia thing. It yeah. is. Yeah. And obviously, you were probably more a lot more critical of yourself when you first put that video out. Also, the funny thing is sometimes I'll remember that when we made it, we didn't think it Felt was like funny. Felt like shit. Yeah. Hated it. And <laughs> but now, now we look it. back and we're yeah. like, oh, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> it's like my meow video. Have you guys ever seen like this? Yeah, the, I, I put my mouth on a cat. Yeah. yeah. And I spent eight hours making it. <laughs> and in those eight hours, it became the least funny thing I've ever made. <laughs> it's my fourth most viewed video. It's like, yeah. what in the hell? Like That That's was strange. A, Stupid decision. I never should have made that, and yet it, it is now one of my most successful videos. <laughs> pull it up, Ela. Don't. Pull it up. God, no. Oh my God. Some yeah. quality editing. Yeah, <laughs> I was so tired of dragging my lips around on a cat after that. Ugh, jeez. But it's weird. Like those things that seem like they they won't work resonate with the fans like yeah. incredibly, and, and that's what always makes me remember like. It, it doesn't matter, like, if I censor myself before it's done, then I'm never going to know if it's actually good or not. Right. Because I'm my own worst critic. We all are. Yeah. And, and then when it's exposed to the people out there that are actually watching and, like, putting up with the time to actually filter through the good stuff, like, those gems come through, and it's just, that's the most satisfying thing. Something you want to really, see it for a sec? It's no. <laughs> it's something that, yeah. <laughs> no? God, Yeah, I want to see it. It's short, right? It really oh, doesn't no. want to. But that's something that scares me is, like, um... <laughs> I, sometimes I to. wonder if I'm a good yeah. judge of my own content. It's a waste of time. Okay, we won't. Yeah, that. yeah, I mean, <laughs> I feel wow, you don't really, we got there. <laughs> I mean, I won't be embarrassed if you hold want up. To play, let me just peep at it. Yeah, just give let it me a, peep a and a creep look. that. It's <laughs> hard to be a judge of your own content because you're, if, especially if you're editing it. So I edit it, and then sometimes I'll like cut something. Or I'll have like cut something, and then I'll bring it back begrudgingly, and then it's everyone's favorite part. Yeah. Is so, this it? Oh, yeah, this is, this is the crap. We're what year is this from? Do you know? This was I. This it's was like last I'm year, right? Yeah. 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 So I just. Oh yeah, I saw this. Yeah, I was just. Meow. It's like even me looking at it, I'm like, oh, this is so <laughs> stupid. But it's not that bad. It's just a cute little video. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just like I was oh, trying. God, to, that looks bad. Thank you. I was trying to come up with some way to celebrate 10 million, and I procrastinated and made this. No, I, think it's good. I don't know why it bothers you so much. Uh, it's just looking back on it and realizing it's pretty creative. Uh, to some extent, I suppose. Am I a cat? Mow, 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 What am I? Mow, bitch. Why did I waste my life nice. making this video? That took you eight hours. Yeah, about eight that's hours. pretty good time. Because I, I can. I, I've gotten faster over time, but my uh, thirty million. My yeah, thirty million. Got him. Views. Thirty million. Yeah, <laughs> that's how that works. Mm-hmm. And then I made a sequel called Wolf. Said yes, what about Borf? Is much. Borf another one? No, Borf is not one. Don't oh, don't man. pay attention to any of those. Of all those, like the most proud of one I'm of those is Popcorn, which is a sketch we made. We don't watch it. Like it's too long. It wouldn't even be bothered. But just because like. 
I, I, I just find that YouTube is best when it's at its heart experimentation mm. and bullshit. Like you, you, you just make you, you make mistakes unapologetically, and you just shove your mistakes out there, and someone will watch it. You know. I feel like we've kind of lately. I feel like creatively bankrupt, to be honest. Yeah. There's just I don't know, man. I feel like so stuck creatively on YouTube right now. Hmm. Like. There's nothing left good to talk about. Like, think about this. When YouTube had the adpocalypse, they cracked down on everything. All the nut jobs that I celebrate on our channel <laughs> no longer make money on YouTube. There's or, nothing or interesting. Or they just got smart and they're like, wait, shit, he's going to shit on me. Can't yeah, this that video. Too. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of the smart guys, they flourish from it. They understand. Yeah. But yeah. it's like, but even beyond that, it's like, okay, another reaction video? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm challenging. We're trying to think of new formats, new ways to be creative and, and make content it's tough man yeah it is and, but and, with, oh. with with i was just gonna say it was something like meow you just no that do some dumb well yeah. i know you guys did the, the harambe <laughs> video <laughs> that was not do good. more experiments like that, that was not good <laughs> i didn't see that people hated the fuck out of that yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like a meme it was like h3h3 is over yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that. but that that's the those. thing like you don't know until you put it out yeah. i didn't and think it was that bad you can't have yeah okay well, it was a shit post it, yeah. we weren't trying it, yeah. to make yeah. a masterpiece yeah. that's yeah what exactly it's just a video that reminds me uh did any of you guys watch bro science life any at all? That's yeah. the guy. Yeah, I know, bro. Yeah. That's the the meathead who plays a character. Yeah, it's funny. I I love his videos, but for his hundredth video, he put out this really highly produced music video where he was rapping. It was really well done. Looked great. Everyone hated it. <laughs> like it's just not got funny. Shit not on. Yeah. Well, I loved it. I, well, I didn't love it, but like I I enjoyed it. You respect. You were okay. The, the, you were like well, I was fine. Like oh yeah. You weren't offended that he put in effort to make a nice video for you. <laughs> yeah. And then everyone hated it. So it's like you never know. You That's never my favorite when I put all the time and effort in the world to make a good video and yeah. then people are like this is low effort <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like well I guess I'm done trying yeah <laughs> that was yeah we had a so we had this we did this rap for Assassin's Creed 3 and it was really successful it was great it was sponsored which is plus hello uh, and people loved it and then we made we made one for Assassin's Creed 4 and like everybody just compared it to the last one mm -hmm. everybody shit mm -hmm. on it and it's like we had like we had like a fucking pirate ship, like a real like ship that we were like like sailing in the bay. We we're shooting off cannons. We we're doing all this stuff. We put so much effort into it. It's sad. And people were like, we're like, it's not as good as the Assassin's Creed Three rap. <laughs> and I was, that was probably like the most demoralizing because really we put yeah. so much time and money, but it was also sponsored, so it didn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. But put a lot of time and money into that, and and it was like. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's really kind of it things. hurts. I yeah. mean, like when it happens to me, I take I I don't know. It's hard not to take it personally. I swear to God, being a YouTuber before we were YouTubers, I was a very calm, rational, down to earth, very right, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. And now I'm straight up bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like the the everyday like high and lows because yeah. everything happens so fast on YouTube yeah. is like really tough. I think that's the one benefit that's been keeping me going strong is I could give a shit if someone, like, shits on my video. Uh, and, and I'm not saying, like, I'm better than you because I think that, but it's just like... Wow, dude. I, <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I've always been... Aw I'm so self-aware of when something I make is good and when it's bad. And I take pride in the things that I know are good because the people that appreciate the things that I think are good are the people that I want to see that. Like, they're mm -hmm. they're the audience. It, it doesn't matter to me if they're one video that I put a lot of work into gets a small amount of views compared to one that was like that, that wasn't really that much effort and gets what huge. If, because the audience. a lot of effort into something and it gets, like, a really low amount of views and people don't like it? Even, like, I'm, I'm okay with that. Because, uh, and I'm not saying you should be okay with it. It also motivates it's me to not, work harder. Yeah, it's not a rational thing. Yeah. It's just, like, mm -hmm. what can yeah. you do? But you're, I'm a human it's being. Also, it's also setting expectations, too. Because yeah. if you're like, if you're like, I'm not happy unless a video gets 2 million views, mm -hmm. then, like, you're just always going to be looking for that thing that's going to make you happy. But then it's like, that goal could have easily been three million or one million it didn't yeah. really matter why right, should that right. be a gauge of yeah. your happiness or yeah. you know depression how levels have, how have you dealt with that like over the years uh have you ever been in that thing oh absolutely like, i mean yeah. i think every youtuber kind of like looks except at mark yeah, except yeah i'm mark. always successful at <laughs> <laughs> i think every youtuber like looks at like their their performance like whether it's like how many views a video gets in a day or a week right. or a monthly or subscriber counts or all that stuff and then the moment they see something 
not going to their expectations, they start flipping out. Right. And that's something that, you know, we've, we've had to learn over, you know, all these years is that, you know, things may get better, things may get worse, but like, we're still able to do what we enjoy. Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we've been, we've been doing this for, you know, 11 and a half years and like, we haven't lost our jobs yet. So yeah, I guess <laughs> I yeah. should be, I should yeah. be thankful for that instead of, instead of benchmarking my videos. That's, that's yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a nice thought. And, and that's something similar because I, I do have videos that will flop and will not work. And it, it really, uh, it, it really is demoralizing, especially when you put so much effort into it. But the, the best part about this for me and this whole adventure on YouTube is that I never expected to be like in the top 50 YouTube channels. Like I didn't, and I'm saying quality, I'm saying quantity, like top 50 <laughs> yeah. subscribers. We have like, like I saw recently you have like seven billion. Yeah, something in the What's range your of that. what's the views on your channel? Let's swing our dicks. I, I don't even have a billion. I don't know. It's it's somewhere, somewhere around, around there. there. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Nuts. But I never expected that. So that's one tr- view for every person on the planet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's I, insane. But even at the heart of it, like I try not to let that ever like uh, get to me because I always remember that one person could be watching. And I'd still love to make videos, mm-hmm. and and so long as I have enough money to be able to make them, like I'm I'm really happy. Mm-hmm. Like I'm happy expressing creativity and finding new ways. And and even if my channel died tomorrow, <laughs> like no one is gonna believe me on when I say this. But even if my channel died tomorrow, I'd be totally fine with that. Like if all of my subscribers tanked and none of my videos got views, it would be great because. I, I'm just the type of person that loves to push and find the new thing. Mm-hmm. Like if my channel mm-hmm. dies, then good. I have time, free time to right. actually like pursue and improve myself mm-hmm. and, and try something new. So, like More that, time for touring. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Just, um, I, I just find it fascinating. I think the problem with YouTube as opposed to like other medias is like the feedback we get is so direct and immediate. Mm-hmm. It's, like a dr- it's like a, you know, it's, it's a tough. drug and it's a poison. If you have a show on television, it's like you don't – there's no comments. There's yeah. no direct interaction. If the show's doing great or it's tanking, it's even – Also, you probably don't hear about it immediately. Exactly. You, you probably like wait and then you see how the whole season did. Exactly. Or something like that. I don't it's know. not like a blast of like emotions. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's fucking. It's wild. Oh yeah. It's a wild ride. It's new. It's crazy. Like yeah, I especially like I I've, I I'm not saying I don't judge myself based on how many likes a video gets because I do. Like I yeah. like I can't help it, but do. But yeah. I just smash don't let that it. like button. Yeah, <laughs> smash smash it, please. If you're listening now, please smash smash the like button. But yeah, I just try not to let it stop me from being creative mm. or or at least trying. You know? I need to. I need, we need to get a more creative mindset. I'm trying. Uh, go out to like take take a break. I, I finally took a weekend for my girlfriend's birthday. We mm-hmm. went out to Joshua Tree, which mm-hmm. is a national park right near here. Have you yeah. ever been? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. We we would just like do. We made sure we did nothing. Mm-hmm. We we filmed some of our own stuff for her channel, but and just took pictures. But uh, we we made sure that it was all very casual and just like let boredom take in because boredom is where creativity comes from. Like the the need to do something allows your brain to actually have that. And sitting out in the desert with no one around and just looking at the stars on the 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 completely empty sky and just seeing stars forever and ever and just doing nothing is the best thing you could ever do for creativity. Because if you that's try... That's why I keep telling you to beautiful. get a goddamn editor, Ethan. That was beautiful. I, We're trying. Can, 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 come on, guys. Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's hard. I have, a real pro- I have a real trouble. Um, I do. I need I need to. You're right. I have a real trouble, like, um, giving it's that tough, work up. It's your, it's your giving baby. Giving that work up, yeah. yeah. But I, I know... I still edit some of my own stuff, so I can't fault you for that. Though. Yeah. All right. Any, well, let's stop it. And then, does anyone else have any other new threads to follow? Um, uh, let's, uh, any more ghost stories? Anybody? Nah. That was good. Logan Paul stories? Anybody? Logan Paul. Anyone uh, here? Met Joey Logan Salad Paul? stories? Joey Salads. We're good. I think we checked off all the boxes. Those are the three Those, most important yeah, things. We covered a lot of ground here today, you yeah. guys. Jeez, how long is this video going to be? It's pro- I don't know. That's Two a good question. Oh, we've been running over time? No, there's no, no. overtime. Oh, okay. It's cool. just as long yeah. as we can yeah. possibly like it's, sustain ourselves. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. It's a merit. Um, we got to keep the ghost story thing going, though. Yeah. That's cool. For yeah. some reason, it's just it's fascinating. Everyone Spooky either has stuff. one or knows someone yeah. that has one. Yeah. I don't even know anyone that has one. That's how on ghost story my life is. Wow. I'm so sorry. But now you do. Now you do. There you go. Now I know someone didn't. Well, know I know. Someone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know somebody knows someone. I got crazy <laughs> ghost stories. Eli, do you know anyone that has crazy ghost stories? 
I don't know. <laughs> I feel like some people, like, even if they had one, they're too afraid to say they, they did so. because they don't want to sound like a crazy person. Huh. I think there's also that too, maybe. But yeah. it's pretty normal. It's pretty acceptable to be like, "Hey, I have a ghost story." Yeah, yeah. No, anyway. So. All right, let's end this fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Do you need to plug me undies again before we no. leave? That was no, a, that was the first. Oh, we 